Alrighty, well, hello everybody. Uh, welcome to a stream that is not Recipe for Disaster. <laughs> this is going to be uh, Tastemaker. Now, it's not on screen, I know. Just give me a moment. Um, so, before I actually jump into this uh, stream, I do want to just let a few people know that, uh, well, I've never played Tastemaker. It is a restaurant simulator, so that will be fun. We will definitely do that. I think you will like this game. By the way, hello, Norman. I've heard very good things about this game. I've heard very good things about this game. So, yeah, that, 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 that's that's good thing to... Oh, God. Oh, God, just give me a sec. It's a good thing to hear, right? It's a good... Oh, my Lord. The music. It sounds pretty good so far. Put V-Sync on, though. <laughs> uh, wow. Let's turn that down just a little bit, maybe. I like... The, it's like a... Uh, it's like a noir type thing. I, 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 well, I mean, that's what it sounds like. So far, so good. Anyways, yeah, um, real quick, real quick before we jump into the stream. For anyone that, uh, might be wondering, this probably will be the last live stream before the birthday stream on Wednesday. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I haven't made that decision yet. It's very, very busy and very hectic in my life right now. Uh, it, it, it always is during this time of year, um, and I'm sure for other people as well. Uh, holidays, big stuff, a lot of stuff happens. Um, uh, really what happens is... Christmas. Uh, once you have two families, right? Two families, you got to spend Christmas over here, over there, gift exchange over here, over there. Uh, not to mention, my dad and I's birthday is two days apart, so his birthday's on Monday, uh, and he lives like an hour away from me, so you know, there's that. Also, my birthday, is, like I said, it's on Wednesday. Oh, and by the way, the day after my birthday is my wedding anniversary, and so the day after my wedding anniversary is Christmas Eve, and then the day after Christmas Eve is, oh, believe it or not, it's Christmas Day. And uh, yeah, it's just very busy. It's very busy, but it's a good busy. It's a good busy. It's a good busy to have. So what I want to say is for the birthday stream, you guys are more than welcome to hang out with me. It's going to be Danielle and I on the birthday stream, so that's going to be fun. And um, we're going to be playing Jackbox Party 8. And you can play with me, and you don't have to own the game, right? You don't even have to own the game to play along with me on Wednesday. So that's going to be very, very fun. So I hope to see you guys there. Um, I think we're just going to have a hoot. And if I don't see you on the stream, birthday stream, then guess what? It's okay. Um, it's fine. Don't stress about it. Don't worry. You can always watch the replay, of course. Uh, yes. So hello, Queen. Hello, Chris B. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Mana. How are you all doing? And of course, hello, Norman. Norman thinks I'm going to like this game. Again, this is my first time playing Tastemaker. So I'm very excited about that. Again, I've heard a lot of good things. Uh, yeah, so another thing I want to address is that the reason why we are not going back to Recipe for Disaster right now is because Recipe for Disaster, let's be honest, needs a little bit of work. Uh, I like Recipe for Disaster. I do like it a lot. And um, it's a good game. It's a very good game. I have it on my game store. By the way, I've launched a game store. If you didn't know that, you can go ahead and click the link down below. If you were thinking about buying some games that are on this channel, you can go ahead and check it out. A little bit of a kickback goes to me when buying those games. But um, it just needs a little bit of fixing. Recipe for Disaster needs a little bit of tweaking and fixing. And uh, we, I've, I've talked to the side on the devs on that. And um, they're, they're, in the, and they're, in the, they're in the process of doing that. So hard mode. Difficulty, extremely hard. Uh, 40 tables, get the hell out of here. <laughs> it's just not, I mean, I've seen your pictures in the Discord. It's just, it almost feels like it's not possible at all. Yeah, so. Are you going to open your birthday gift today? I don't know how much time I will be able to be in the stream on Wednesday. I'm going to open it on on my birthday. I, I have a weird rule about opening gifts on, you know, beforehand. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open it on my birthday. Uh, but I'm sure I, I will clip it as well. I'm sure somebody will clip it and then we can make a short little video and put it to the discord as well But I'm gonna open it on the birthday stream just to make it a little bit more exciting and all that as well So okay, everybody let's go ahead and jump into new tastemaker. Uh, there's sandbox uh, Scenarios and tutorial. Well, since this is my first time playing. I guess maybe tutorial. This might be even your first time watching uh, tastemaker or seeing tastemaker you might even end up liking tastemaker by the end of this i don't even know dude so this is the planning camera okay very well we can do this yeah did you know we can was okay we can we can we can change speeds too i like them apples i'm playing cod vanguard since multiplayer is free this weekend really is it interesting 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 I might have to experiment with that as well. I did not know it was. Building the exterior. So you first need to create the exterior of your restaurant. Place the walls and don't forget to add a door. Very well. 
Okay. Oh my god, look how like look how tiny this is. This is kind of cool. Look at all these people like running by. And this is like oh, this is not normal speed. Uh okay. So this is the tutorial. All right. So add a door. Yeah, it's just add a simple door right there. Placing objects, you will need some furniture in your restaurant. Let's start with the bar. Okay. A bar already. We're already starting with a bar. Huh. Okay, rotation. Looks like eh, it's just about okay. I guess we want to go right there and right there, right? Is that a member? Yo, hey! Let's go! Hey! Norman! What are you doing? What are you doing? Norman! 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 Thank you so much for... Thank you. Thank you, Norman. Thank Just thank you. Jesus Christ. Thank you, Norman. Thank you. Really do appreciate that, man. Thank you so much, and thank you for the load off, too. Really do appreciate that. Thank you so much there, Norman. That scared the hell out of me, but thank you, thank you. I woke up very uh, tired today, and um, yeah, but thank you. Appreciate that. That's how we get it started. That's how we going, baby. Uh, decorating. Place some decorations to keep the guests happy. Very well. Um, uh, well, let's let's just put it like a plant right there. <laughs> Plate storage. You will need a cabinet to store your plates. Okay. Okay, cabinet for plates. Now that you have a place to store the plates, you can order them. Plates delivered. Wait, what? We have to order our plates in this game? That's pretty cool. Huh. It's so strange playing since the guns have no recoil. I've heard Vanguard is just so bad. I really have. I heard it. It's bad. It took me long. It took me so long, but I did it. <laughs> oh, Norman. Norman. Thank you, man. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that. All right, cutting board. What, what do I use for the cutting? Buying a cutting board to cut your potatoes. You will need a cutting board. I feel like this is already kind of weird, the way I place this. Can I, like, move this back a little bit, maybe? Yeah, this? Oh, very good. Um, So far, like, the art style in this game, I, I dig it. I dig the art style. This actually looks pretty cool. Um, The, the noir kind of feel to it in the beginning was kind of cool. It's very interesting to see that the tutorial wants us to make some kind of a, some some sort of a bar here, for sure. I'm actually going to kind of mimic the, the tutorial picture here. I'm going to put this up against the wall because I kind of like how that is. I don't know if there's like a quick access, like a, <clears throat> a if I press M maybe? No? Okay. I wasn't sure if there's like a click and drag option. By the way, my con my <laughs> the first time ever, my mouse gave out on me yesterday. Gave out on me completely. Uh, so F. Luckily, I'm going to have storage. So build a storage rack to in store your ingredients. Um, luckily I have a backup mouse, so I'm using it now, and oh, it feels so good. Like, it feels so, so good. I couldn't believe how, like, what I was working with before. Just trash. <laughs> All right, ordering ingredients. So open the ingredients window to order your potatoes. Okay, so order my potatoes. Four of those. Repeating orders. Order ingredients mainly can be, can get... Repetitive. Use the repeat button to automatically repeat your order after it's delivered. But be careful. If there is not enough space to store the ingredients, they will use the they will be stored on the floor. <gasps> really? Really? They'll be stored on the floor. Okay, so this is interesting. So four potatoes. Is this what it's gonna do? Four potatoes at a time? Can I actually slow down the speed here? Uh you need employees to serve the fries. Oh. Okay. Oh, well, hello there. How are you? This is Robert. Putting items on the menu. When the potatoes have arrived, you are ready to put fries on your menu. Open the menu window. Very well. Let's get this going on. Let's get some fries, dude. So for fries, Robert complains there's nothing to do. Robert, honestly, calm down. Okay, so fries. So we can have the basics, which is, I guess, the fries. What do we need for the fries? We need a deep fryer. We need a cutting board. We need potatoes. And we need plates. Very simple. Add to the menu. $15, I guess. $15. So there we go. We have now fries, I guess, on the menu. Uh, to clean the plates, you need to build a dishwasher. All right. That, this is kind of cool. I, I kind of dig this. This is like really more thorough. I like this. Robert, complain. Robert, stop complaining, please, or you're going to get fired already. Your restaurant is now ready to receive guests. Serve four guests to continue. So this is interesting. We, we have a bar. We don't sell any drinks, but we sell fries. We sell freaking fries. How do you like that? Very good. It's awful if you compare it to a normal world war ii game but if you treat it as a wacky hollywood movie it's fine yeah that's the thing the cods have just definitely gone out of um 
they've gone out of excuse me my man Robert Robert do we need to open no there we go um they've gotten like way far away like they're so heavy into the cosmetics nowadays and like skins and all that it's just ugh. it had to come it had to come sooner or later and there it is it had to come sooner or later so expenses minus four okay okay hello danielle how are you hope you're doing well so we're gonna get like a good zoom in here so okay i see he, he's deep frying the fries he's putting the fries on the plate she's eating the fries he brought the potatoes okay there we go very good so we have a few things going on here so it, it, it's it seems like it's a little bit way more in depth obviously than than recipe for disaster i'm not trying to compare this to recipe for disaster nor will i ever will uh compare this to recipe for disaster um i just i'm gonna say that a lot because that's just the most recent restaurant game i played so not enough brooms or vacuums or cleaners are you kidding me Okay. <laughs> All right. So there we go. We have served one customer. One customer has, she's done. She's done. She's done. Uh, Bella is, she is a loud mouth, isn't she? By the way, uh, can you believe this guy has a huge forehead? Yeah, I went with the forehead style today. I decided you guys deserved it. So there you go. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. Tell Bella to shut it. I, I, I might. <laughs> Robert says, hello, I just wanted to say your videos are so inspirational and amazing. Keep up the amazing, I'm guessing, amazing content. Have a wonderful Christmas and an amazing new year. Thank you so much, Robert. That is incredible for you to say. Uh, just for you to say alone is just absolutely incredible. Thank you so much. How nice of you. That was really nice of you. Thank you so much, man. I really do appreciate that. Comments like that keep me sane and keep me going. So thank you so much, Robert. And uh, by the way... Good to see you. Good to see you, Robert. Morgan says, just got here. Is this from the same creators from Recipe Disaster? It looks similar. Uh, no, I don't think it is. I don't think it is uh, from the same creators of Recipe for Disaster. I think the uh, developers from Recipe for Disaster, by the way, we're having a little bit of shortage here, so we're going to need to take care of that. Um, the Recipe for Disaster, let's increase that to six, maybe, six intake. Uh, that was their first restaurant game, I believe. I could be mistaken, but I believe that is our, their first restaurant game. So, old broom. All right, so we actually have to give them a broom to clean up. Oh, I love this. Yeah, let's give them a broom. Clean plate shortages. Uh, we need, I mean, we have plates going in here. So, okay, wow, okay. Just, uh, just kind of, let me grasp it here for a sec. So, five plates is what we have so far. Can we get, like, I don't know, three plates? How much, where's our money? A thousand? Okay, there's our money. Can we deliver three plates? And then we'll have, like, a total of eight plates, I believe. That'd be really cool. So you got to like not only worry about your ingredients, your food, um, your cleanliness, but you also have to worry about your clean plates. Right now we only, this is the tutorial if anyone just joined. This is the tutorial and um, yeah, this is, this is this. So you've completed the tutorial. There's still a lot to be learned, but you are now ready to start your own restaurant. Oh, okay. So that's it. <laughs> That's the tutorial. Well, I, I, I gained a little knowledge. There are scenarios and there's sandbox mode. I kind of want to do scenarios. I do like scenarios. Let's go to scenarios. Let's see what we have here. Wow. Uh, fast food, Route 66, farm, city, and zombies? Are you kidding me? Uh, let's do fast food. Serve unhealthy fast food. Very well. Very well. Danielle is going to have a very busy day today as well. Danielle's currently at work. Uh, then she has a birthday party for her friend. And her friend is going to be turning the big old 21. Yeah, 21. Incredible, right? And uh, she's going to be doing her hair for her birthday. And something amazing and special is going to happen during dinner to her girlfriend. Not, you know, her friend that's a girl, but she... Something amazing is going to happen, let's just say. Uh, let's put this like nice little corner, uh, corner, uh, corner door here. Very, very cool things gonna happen to her tonight. I don't want to say it just in case if she is in the same room. <laughs> Buy land. Oh really? Oh really? Three sixty. Okay, so we start out with two thousand dollars. Very good to see. Serve two hundred coins worth of fries in a month. Okay, we can do that. Serve four hundred coins worth of fries and nuggets in a month, and have waiting time lower than thirty seconds with twenty people in your restaurant. Very, very, very well. Uh, let's see here. Let's go with. Ooh, ooh. So we could do the bar again, but like really, 
the bar, like, there's no point of having a bar, right? There's no point of having a bar because we don't sell drinks right now. So let's just go regular tables and we'll go just regular chairs and we'll go boom, boom, boom. Maybe a three seater if you want to throw that in. It's going to be very tight. <laughs> it's going to be very, very tight. Yeah, let's do a three seater. Why not? Let's go. Let's do that. I should probably worry about bringing in some, the appliances first. So a, a cabinet. Uh, we're kind of going to go do what we did just not too long ago <laughs> in the tutorial just so i can get a, the hang of this game storage dishwasher how much money we got 1300 this is interesting a fridge dough mixer ovens stove and coffee hmm. awesome <laughs> today i made christmas cookies they are so good oh christmas cookies Christmas cookies. I love uh, Christmas cookies. Like, my family does Christmas cookies, too. Like, but they don't do, like, your traditional co Christmas cookie. They do Italian Christmas cookies, and that is the bomb diggity baby. Okay, what do we have here? We got de decorations. So, decorations, I think, does bring an ambience, which is, uh, I guess, is important to people in this game. We're going to learn about that. I would like to bring in a broom, too. There's toilets? We have to worry about toilets? No way. This is such a small little uh, restaurant. I love it. I do love it. Let's put that like right there. I would like to put maybe like a window, too. Is that possible? Can I do a window? <laughs> yes. Like a nice, like... Look at that. Like right there. Oh, look at that. Oh, so good. So good. Kind of. It is, it is like not proportionately fit well, but that's all right. Um, so we have like one table. Maybe we can bring in another table. Let's do that. Let's bring in another table. We should probably, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, do here, just a regular table. Maybe we could put it. No, not right there. Maybe right here. <laughs> Maybe right here. Oh dude, there's so, it's so small here. I could buy more land. I, I, I definitely could. Maybe I do. Maybe I buy more land. Let's see here. Buy land. 360. Maybe it's not too much. You know? Maybe it's not too much. And then we go walls. Kind of space this out a little bit more. 835. 835. And then how do we delete walls? Can we do that? Delete walls. How do we delete it? How do we delete? Um, doors. Uh-oh. The game never taught me how to delete stuff. Stuff. Uh, oh, right there. Trash can. Son of a bitch. I just got rid of the chair. Damn it. Okay, there we go. There we go. Very, very good. Okay, okay. All right. All righty. All righty. Here we go. Uh, let's just go regular chair. Put that right there. And then let's go, like, down the aisle here. Boom. Get a regular chair. Um, boom, boom. 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 And then, like, in between, maybe, like, a little bit of a... Well, I mean, you can honestly add some curtains, but I'm getting very out of hand here. I I, I got to pay attention to my money, though. Like a plant. Okay, okay, okay. That's enough. That's enough. Like, that that maximum probably could be, like, six people. Probably. Maybe. Depending. But we'll do that. Okay. Um, We got to order plates. Yeah, we got to order plates. So five plates is enough. Do we order ten? Maybe bring in ten? And then food, we want potatoes. We want potatoes at maybe a five on a repeat. Five on a repeat. This this part is, is a little confusing. I will say this part's a little confusing for me. Oh, do you can serve wine in this game? Milk and chocolate? Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> I don't know why it kind of sounded like Woody the Woodpecker there. Um, okay, uh, let's hire somebody. Let's hire somebody. Yeah, let's go hire. There we go. Okay, great. All right, menu, right? Menu. We got to make sure we have a menu. Basic fries. Oh, look at nuggets. What do we need for the nuggets? We need chickens or we need chicken and we need plates. So we could actually uh, add that to the menu very much. So very much. So I just got to wait until I get these uh, stuff in. Uh, in that case, I would like to order some chicken, maybe possibly depending on how much it does cost. I don't know. There isn't like a price exact here. Richard complains. There's nothing to do. Richard, don't be a Richard. Uh, chicken needs a fridge okay that's fine that's fine indeed let's see here chicken needs a fridge $150 uh, 
Yep, yep. Okay. <laughs> 286. We're pushing it, dude. We're we're pushing it. Push it harder. Three dollars for the chicken. Okay, so it is three dollars for the chicken. I think I'm gonna hold off on that for right now. All right. Let's see here. I'll have fun and Caleb can deal with me when I get home. Oh, you're gonna it's gonna be very uh very, very long. Very long. <laughs> very Oh no! I hope I can bring back that. I really hope I can bring that back. That little scenario thing. There are no available dishes on the menu. I disagree. Maybe we're still waiting. I'm pretty sure we added the fries. Did we add the fries to the menu? I'm pretty sure we did. Yeah, they're delivering. It's just taking a little bit. Let's just fast forward the time real quick. Delivering five potatoes. It's just going to take some time. Just wait for it. We'll get it. Okay. Now it should be delivered, yeah? There we go. Oh, there's the guy. Yes, there he is. He just came in. Great. Add that to the menu. We now have fries on the menu. Awesome. Hooray. It is a little weird that there's no music going on, isn't it? Maybe that's just me. Uh, tableware. We only have five plates. Uh, ingredients. We have only five potatoes. Richard complains there's nothing to do. Richard, calm down, please. Uh, let's see here. I wonder if we're going to need more plates maybe very much maybe but there's our first customer hey she's asking for fries richard you want to jump on that buddy hey richard you want to take that order please richard you complained about nothing to do and now you're doing nothing there you go oh wait. <laughs> he put it in the deep fryer so he's waiting for it to deep fry i see okay i see i see i woke up early to watch your live video you feeling special i am hey X Blitz Gaming, how are you? How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Howdy, 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 Cherokee. Better than milk and Pepsi? Oh, come on. <laughs> I love games with this art style. The art style does look pretty good, doesn't it? I think it does. There's a review. Uh, this is a good restaurant. It's nice and clean, but the decoration could improve. Very well. I'm, I'm glad that you're not mad that certain items are not on the menu, because this is a fries-only menu. So it looks like he is now, okay, so there we go. We got like a steady uh, steady source of, of potatoes coming through. Steady source of, rest, uh, sorry, not restaurants. Well, restaurateurs, right, maybe. Steady source of people coming through that are ordering just French fries. Um, I, I could actually probably afford, I, I, I could. I could probably afford um, chicken. Yeah, I could probably do that. Let's, let's see that. Let's go here. Let's go chicken. Maybe like, it will cost me three at a time so maybe i i get 315 that's 15 every time 15 for chicken and then add maybe a couple more tables indeed hiring someone will probably be uh, something that we need to do eventually what is this oh priorities oh you can actually do priorities oh i love this um let's go priorities serving cooking and then i'll hire another person does it cost money to to hire people a uh, clean plate shortage. That's a big deal, actually. Yeah, let's get more plates in. Seven is the max for our cabinet. Okay, very good. Very good information there. Does it show expenses? Staff wages? Yes. I guess it has to turn over a month first. Can you have multiple floors in this game? Uh, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Hello, Marissa. How are you? Feeling fantastic. Or fast. Oh, fan I think that's supposed to say fantastic. Watching from Australia. All the way from Australia. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. That's incredible. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you, x -Blitz. Let you meme around like this. Michelin Star Fries restaurant. There you go. Ben Robert is regretting that he had nothing to do now. That he has nothing. That he has to do everything. I know, right? Right? I, uh, I'm complaining. I have nothing to do. Well, now look at you. Now you now you can't stop. Letitia, Letitia, this restaurant is all right. It's nice and clean, but the restaurant could use some extra toilets. Really? Some toilets? You sure about that? You sure about that? Huh? Hey! Toilets? Don't even get me started. Don't even. I don't want to hear it, Letitia. 
So we're going to need more cabinets, I think. Yeah, clean plate shortage. Looks like we're going to need a little bit more cabinets. So I'm going to spend the 50 extra there. We're going to get that. And, you know, might as well have a cutting board out there, too, um, since we're here. So we're going to do that as well. Now, our kitchen doesn't <laughs> have a formal uh, spot, I, I will say. That's all right. I do want to kind of hire another... Um, Okay, fifty dollars a month in staff wages. Very interesting to hear. Okay, so this. Okay, one thing I'm already kind of liking about this game so far is the simplicity. Staff wages, bam. Food, bam. Net, bam. Very easy. Very simple. Nothing too complicated. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, very good. Okay. Okay. Now, one thing that we just need to do is make sure that we are. About the high workload. Okay, Richard, can I, like, tell you to calm down? Um, yeah, I think, like, net income. So, let's just see. Net income, how much are we making last month? Well, last month, oh, well, like, okay, last month we actually made $60. Oh, so we could actually afford another staff if we wanted to, maybe, kind of. Let's do that. Let's hire another staff because we're going to need somebody. So, let's hire another staff. This is going to be, I don't even know who this name is. What is your name? Charles, Richard and Charles. So we have Dick and Chuck. Very good to see Dick and Chuck, Chuck and Dick. Um, I never understood that. Why is Dick short for Richard? I never understood that. Can I do the priorities for this? Oh, you can name them. Oh, that's incredible. Uh, let's see here. Let's go. How did I do the priority list again? Priorities. So we have Richard doing serving and cooking. I would like Charles to be... Can I actually... Oh, good. We can say, Charles, I don't want you to serve. Charles, you could cook. Richard, I want you to do no cleaning, no dishwashing. Charles, maybe cook, but your top priority is going to be cleaning and dishwashing so that uh, Richard doesn't have this high workload. I, I dig that. I like that a lot. That's very good. That's very, very good. Damn, it's already February 6th. We started at January 1st. Holy crap. Okay, very good. I like this. I like this a lot. Now, I better be able to hire females. Yeah, let's just say that. I better be able to hire females. There's a second floor. You can get a second floor in this game. That's awesome. When is having nothing to do a complaint? I know, right? Getting paid to do nothing? That's a complaint? What are you talking about? Um, it's been a couple of months since the last time I've played this game. You can have a second floor. Very good. Hello, Viper. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. At least they didn't give you a one star about the toilets. Hey, 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 okay, this is an issue. We are, we are, we are, no, no, no. No repeat. No repeat on the chicken, please. Please no repeat. We're putting chicken on the floor, dude. We have uh, too much chicken. This is bad. Let's get rid of that. I don't want to serve. I, that, that's a waste of money, I, I, I'll admit. But I'm not serving chicken that's been on the floor. It's, it's just not happening. We're just not doing that. Uh, let's go ahead and bring in a little bit more plates, please. Maybe like three more to even us out at 10. Watching from Europe. Hey, Ryan, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Good to see you. At least you didn't get once. Addict to rewatching Metro Sim Hustle. Such a great game. Did you know if there, do you know if there's any updates for the game? Uh, you, so uh, I have that game like really high on my radar. So any updates that do come from that game, uh, I have it. I have it like on lock. So far, there hasn't been any updates for like the past couple of months. And usually, that's that's typically normal for that for that game. We're gonna actually up our intake here. Um, it's typical for that game. It really is. But when there is an update, I will go back to it for sure. Because uh, I, I enjoyed that game, Metro Sim Hustle, and uh, that is actually one of the most popular series on the channel. Believe it or not, Metro Sim Hustle. So yeah. Um, I, I just, I, I really liked it. I don't know. I don't know. I think that game just really fit my, uh, fit my everything. Fit my commentary. Fit my gameplay. Fit my persona. It, it was all good. It was very good. Very, very good. Can I be one of the waiters? You know what? Why not? You want to be a waiter? You want to be Richard? Let's make you that. X Blitz. Gaming. Nope, I can only go that far. 
Xbox Gaming. There you go. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so, yeah, I, I have that game on definitely phew, top of the notch there, top of the notch. Now, one thing that's not happening here that I, I just now realized, I don't have the freaking thing on the menu. I don't have my chicken nuggets on the menu. So let's get that on the menu, please. Add to the menu for $20. There we go. People are happy. They're like, oh, diversity. I love, I love a menu that doesn't just serve fries. So now we're going to be able to serve chicken, believe it or not. Uh, which then I'm going to have to, you know, keep my eye on the intake for chicken as well. Now, we can only clean five plates at a time, which is interesting. Did not know that. Not enough fryers to keep up with the demand. Uh, you're probably right. So there we go. We actually did the easy star. Served 200 coins worth of fries in a month. <laughs> Very good. Um, yeah, okay. So we're going to need to get another fryer. Okay, okay. That We can do that. I want to get more tables in. I do want to do that. So like $100 here. $40 here, there, and there. There we go. Now we can get more people in. More people means more demand, right? So we got to pay attention to that. Now, I probably should put my chicken back on the repeat. I definitely should. But I'll keep my eye on it. Not enough fryers to keep up with the demand. Okay, so that let, let's, let's, let's put an end to that. Let's go to that. Move this over one. Move this over one. Move that over one. And then let's bring in the freaking fryers. A hundred dollars? Oh, look at that. We're living life on the edge, baby. Eight bucks? Eight bucks? Eight dollars in a dream. That's all you need. Eight dollars in a dream. You can get music. It's something you need to build. Oh, really? It's something you have to build. Like a jukebox? <gasps> oh, piano. Music. Record. Jukebox. So good. So you have to get those and you can have music in your restaurant? Oh, that's very, that's very clever. Rat trap, that scares me. <laughs> That's very... Slot machine? Hey! Claw machine? Arcade? Sta okay, I definitely like where this is heading. I like where this is heading. Very much so. Not too bad. Not too bad. Interesting. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm doing good, Ryan. I'm just sitting here playing Tastemaker for the first time. Never played this game before. Very interested in it, indeed. Very interested. Heard it was a very good game. So I just said, you know what? We're going to play this instead of Recipe for Disaster. Until Recipe for Disaster gets a little bit fixed up. A little patched up. 40 tables. Damn near impossible. And I saw, like, I think Queen put it in the Discord. Like, she put a picture of her restaurant, like, with 40 tables and it's like she it's like impossible it's like impossible to do uh it was kind of crazy crazy so ingredients and shortage here let's see here so it's gonna be the chicken right the chicken's gonna be the issue let's come on over here and let's start re-adding the chicken back to our repertoire repertoire there we go very good because i work as a pest controller i highly recommend rat traps <laughs> love it <laughs> If you really do work as a pest control, like in real life, you get paid pretty decent money. I'm not going to say, you do get paid pre, uh, paid decent money. At least where I live, you get paid uh, decent money. Clean, clean, clean plates. Let's go ahead and add clean plates. Now, we don't need glasses. I don't know if we don't need pans, bowls, or cups quite yet because we don't have a coffee machine. We don't have other things. So this is our max, right? 14 is our max. That's a weird number. It's a weird number. But 14 is max. Let's get our max plates in. I don't know if it costs us money to have plates in. But I think we're going, to, you know, so far so good. I mean, learning the game. What are we, like, 30 minutes into the game? I think I'm doing okay. I think I'm doing all right. Now, our expenses did come through. $8. Holy crap. Uh, we, we're Priority, please. Clean, clean, clean this. We need cleaning. We might need to hire another person. God, the money's going crazy, though. Charles is complaining about the high workload. Look, Charles, hey, Charles, what do you do? Cooking? Like, let's not put you cook. You're not a cook anymore. There you go. Just worry about cleaning this damn place. I don't want you to ever cook again. Right? Okay, what is the star review here? Quincy. This restaurant is all right. It's nice and clean, but the restaurant could use some extra toilets. X Blitz Gaming is complaining about the high workload. Excuse me, sir. This is not your time. So it looks like hiring a person is going to be of interest here so let's hire another guy there we go this is joseph all right very well hello joseph so let's see here let's kind of split up the workload here let's go joseph you will probably do you 
you will do serving. X Blitz Gaming will just do strictly cooking. You'll do no cooking. And you'll do cleaning. And we'll leave Charles on dishwashing cleaning. You will do... Joseph will do just serving and cleaning. There we go. I love how simple, right? Simplicity always makes games uh, even more enjoyable sometimes. And, and and this is this is kind of why I'm feeling it, right? Ingredient shortage. What's that for? It's chicken. Oh, wow, chicken. <laughs> I need more chicken. All right, let's bump that up a bit. But yeah, I think uh, simplicity always means more sometimes. And uh, this this is definitely a good example here. Very good example. You do, but it depends on the of the level you have on your license. You have, there's like four to five different levels. I did not know that there was a level system in pest control. I did not know that. That's interesting. But I guess like the growth there, right? The, 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 the job growth within is pretty good, right? It's pretty high. Like you can work your way up. <clears throat> I used to have a friend that was in pest control too. He, he earned good money. He got good money. I mean, you got to be special. Like, I think, I don't know, depending on where you live on how houses are built, but like sometimes you got to like climb under houses. Okay, that, that scared the crap out of me. Like just, just, that would scare the crap out of me actually because, um, just claustrophobia, like very closed, dark cobwebs have a phobia of that kind of stuff. I don't know. You know, that's why you get paid a little bit extra. <laughs> So I'm thinking about bringing in maybe a vacuum, possibly getting rid of the broom for sure. But I'm kind of just like earning some money here. I don't want to spend too much at a time. I do want to earn a little bit more money. But I'm thinking about bringing in a better appliance. Now, I'm assuming if you bring in a better appliance, they are using both, right? They are trying to use both at the same time is what this is happening here. So maybe I leave one by another. So leave one by like a broom, like a better broom. $200 broom? Maybe I don't buy a $200 broom. Maybe I just buy another simple broom. Let's just buy another broom. Let's just buy another broom so that they aren't sitting there. Uh, ooh, he didn't like that. So that they're not sitting there uh, waiting on each other for the brooms. Come on, guys. Clean up the tables. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. A lot of chicken. A lot of chicken is coming in. Uh, yeah, kind of scared about that. Let's maybe bring that down a little bit. Yeah, let's bring that down to maybe four now. So we're not spending too much money on ingredients. 20, or sorry, 11 chicken. I looked at the wrong one. 21 uh, potatoes, 10 uh, chickens. A long queue is forming outside. Look, it's the most popular fast food chicken nugget fry restaurant of all time. What can I tell you? People are literally, like, <laughs> people are literally willing to wait in the middle of the street for this damn place. Did you know that? You probably didn't know that. Now you do. Okay, yeah, this is a little bit of an issue. Chicken and potatoes on the floor. We could probably do of another storage. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. So let's move stuff over and let's do that. Move stuff over, move this over. Let's add another storage, please. Possibly another refrigerator. Oh, God, we're going to need to double time it over. Uh, which kind of makes it weird for our tables, but that's all right. We're, we're, you know, this is how we, this is the growing pains. This is how we start out. How much is a uh, storage system? $100? Very well. Okay, there we go. Cool. The biggest line of all time. Oh, add more seats or increase your prices. Okay, I didn't know you could increase your price. Well, I should have actually, because I think the game told me, or it suggested it. Yeah, right here. So let's increase our prices. Yeah, let's go. Uh, you know what? You're going to pay $20 for fries, and then you're going to pay $25 for nuggets. And you're going to really be dissat dissatisfied after you're uh, done here. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. There you go. <laughs> oh, God. Hello, Kodama. Kodama, how are you doing? How are you? Hey, we got the medium done. Sir, 400 coins. How are you? Emma and Ian, hope you all are doing great today. Having a fantastic Saturday. Good to see you. 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 I got a dash cam and got my windows tinted yesterday, but they messed up something and now the back lights on the dash do not come on. And I can't see what buttons I'm pushing at night. Wait, what? All that during the tinted window process? They messed up your buttons? Really? Really? 
I need more detail on that. My aunt and uncle own a pest control business. My dad worked for them until he retired. I went the opposite direction and breed insects <laughs> for reptile owners <laughs> in my area as a side business. You went completely the, <laughs> the other direction. I like that, though. I, <laughs> thank you for sharing that with us there, Sarah. really do appreciate that. It's good to know. Good to know. <laughs> that was funny, though. That was a way to make me, make me giggle there. I like that. Now, I, I am a little upset. Like, can we move this to to uh, put this on the shelf? I don't want the customers walking in thinking that, hey, we step on potatoes here. But guess what? We're stepping on potatoes here. It's that simple. $25. Now, I'm, I'm waiting for a little bit here. I want to gain a little bit of money. To buy another piece of land, which would kind of be perfect, to buy another piece of land, we were looking at $360. So, oh, yo! Hey! Look at that son of a gun. This is actually a New York rat. Hey, look how that's New York. That's a giant freaking rat. It's because we have food on the ground, right? Dude, this is crazy. Mine, this is the size of Bella. Yo. Yo, yo look at <laughs> At this point, you can have it, dude. <laughs> look at him. Oh my god. Just what the door's right here. Yeah, yeah, the door's right here. No problem. You have a fantastic day. You have a great day. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. How freaking funny was that? That was great. That was great. Now please get get this stuff up. Oh, we have to add potatoes, right? Potatoes? Oh, we have to have dedicated uh dedicated things here, right? So I'm going to make this just potatoes only. Hopefully this will move to potatoes. If not, then I'm going to have to like delete it, which I can. I can I can delete it. And then cuz we have enough. We have enough backup. But my lord, did you see that? The rat picked it up and ran. <laughs> that was so funny. Okay, Charles was complaining about the high workload. Look, Charles, we're going to need to get some backup for you. I know, buddy. Don't worry. Let's hire some more staff. Because we are on a high workload. Because I do want to bring in more tables as well. So we're going to hire Thomas. Well, hello, Thomas. Hi, my name's Thomas. Thomas, what are you going to do for this restaurant? Well, it's simple. You're going to be doing uh, Charles a favor. You're going to be helping out with the dishwashing uh, and the cleaning. And that's all you're going to do. It doesn't seem like x Gaming is really uh, complaining about cooking. Because that's the only thing he does is cook. So that's good. As long as he's happy and he makes this restaurant flow. Uh, yeah, we, we, you know. Everything else can fall in order here. But dishwashing, cleaning, we can have another person on that. That was incredible. That is not a rat. That's a bear. <laughs> I wouldn't have done that today. But they are not open. Oh, they're not open on Saturdays and Sundays. No, it was when they uh, hardwired the dash. Oh, so wait, the tent people did the hardwire of the dash cam at the same. They did the dash cam too. Oh God, just a fuse that did not put back in. I'm not an expert. That is why they, I had them do it. That that's a little strange. I've never know. I didn't know like, really. Unless I don't know. Tinted window, dash cam too. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, the new cars. I mean, you got to be very careful with the new cars nowadays. All these cars. You know, they're all ran like computers, right? Computers run these cars. It's, it's 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 incredible, but at the same time, it could really like be very difficult to troubleshoot um, sometimes. And uh, like manually, you have to like take it to a dealership, take it to wherever you get your car, and or a mechanic, and they can run a you know their own diagnostics on a machine. But it's very hard as a person who wants to work on their own car um, to to find out what's wrong because nowadays cars are made out of like. Like I said, computers and things like that. This restaurant is all right. The waiting time is nice. Wait, what? The waiting time is nice, but the decoration can improve. Okay, we can we can improve on the decoration. I'm not really stressed about the decoration here. Let's go decoration. Let's bring in... Um, how big is a flower? Not that big. Uh, let's bring in another plant. Yeah, let's bring in another plant. Let's put that right over there. There we go. I do want to bring in more tables. What the heck is the pizza sign for? We don't serve pizza here. I would like to put another window in too. Let's go window. Put in this maybe. Like right there. How's that look? 
Do windows cost money? They don't cost money, do they? They don't. Interesting. We can actually change the wall or the, the flooring, which we probably will. Wallpaper. We'll do that later. But this decorative stuff doesn't seem like it costs anything. Very good. Very, very good. Kitchen door. Okay. All right. But let, let's focus like on people. People. Let's go people or sorry. <laughs> let's not go people. Let's go um, tables. Now this is very close to comfort. You know what? Maybe we don't. Maybe we focus on buying land. Yeah, that's what we're going to focus on, buying land. This, look at this workload now. This is like a freaking musical. This is wonderful. This is one, this is working out very good. Uh, clean restaurant, clean tables, um, clean plates. Might be running a little low on the uh, chicken, I will say. Very low on the chicken. Let's make sure that we got more chicken coming uh, per hour. I don't know how often this comes, maybe once a month. But let's increase that intake to maybe seven. Ooh, a spicy Yo. super chat. Danielle, what? the hell are you doing hey what are you doing you're my wife i have to pay for that now <laughs> i'm just kidding thank you daniel thank you so much uh what the heck are you doing lady what are you doing you chicken head what are you doing i wasn't expecting i wasn't expecting the rat to grab a box and run <laughs> I never in my career have I ever seen a rat pick up a food and carry it as a human. I'm telling you, dude, the New York rats are built different. <laughs> it was, it's called Auto FX. They did all kind of installations from dash cans to wheels, anything aftermarket for cars. That's really cool. I didn't know that. Usually, like, the places I have locally, they only do, like, one of the thing, like, there's a, there's a couple places dedicated to just strictly uh, window tint. They don't do anything else. I did not know that. That rat made my day. Hello, Robert Abraham. How are you doing, Robert? Hope you're doing well. Made another stream. Well, I'm at work like I usually am during the streams. But uh, we just happen to have a little un little enough work that I could pop on pop this up in a tab. Very well. How are you doing, Jason Glasser? Hope you're doing well. Good to see you, Jason. I thought it would, I thought it would mix it up a bit. Well, you mixed it up for sure. <laughs> You for sure did. You for sure did. So yeah, like I said, we're getting enough money now to the point where we can extend or expand our restaurant, which we will probably do like right now. We're going to probably like, I don't know what it like, what it means or what it does for us. Oh, good. There's an ambience tool. Oh, very, very good. Very, very good. Oh, this game is getting better and better. Oh, baby. This game is pretty cool. I don't know how much this game costs. This game's pretty cool, though. Um, I want to buy more land, obviously. I want to have, like, a dead... Ooh, a spicy super chat! Hey! Here is for you to cover her super chat. Ha ha. <laughs> Thank you, Buck. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> now you're covered. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, thank you, Buck. Really do appreciate that. I'm going to buy more land over here. And, uh, <laughs> and I'm going to expand off to the side. Oh, I'm not going to expand off. I don't have enough money to expand, but I'm going to eventually <laughs> expand off to the, to the back here. I want to have a dedicated area for the kitchen. Obviously. I think this is weird that we have what we have, uh, which is obvious. Cause you know, it's just like, why, why we don't need, we don't need like, we're probably bringing in way too much uh, potatoes now at this point. So let's bring this, let's notch this down a little bit, maybe to five people are ordering more chicken than they are fries. Oh my god. Take a drink real quick. <laughs> that rat was sod or whatever his no, that was right. You're right. His name was Sod in Prison Tycoon. That you were having trouble with in prison. Yeah. Yeah, that game frustrated me. That game frustrated me. Like when that game came out in early access, uh the reviews were bad. The reviews were bad. It was a very buggy mess and uh, just kind of lazy game. And I was hoping at full release it got better. Ooh, it didn't. It didn't. Hey. Ha ha ha, I'm now covering yours. Now he's covering yours. <laughs> so we have two people. Wait, we have one covering one and then the other covering the other. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Blitz Gaming. Appreciate that. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> that's funny. That's nice of you guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, no, but yeah, it was, it was just, I don't know, like the full release I thought it was going to be better than it was. And it, eh. I could be like, it, there's just a lot of gameplay things that are bad. And I even checked the recent reviews since the full release happened. Yo, the chicken's on the ground. We need to get into the refrigerator. Um, I checked the full release, like, reviews after, and they were still bad. And I checked to see what people were complaining about, and they were kind of complaining about the, the same thing I was complaining about. So it's just unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. For sure. <clears throat> Ooh, a spicy hey. super chat! What the... Jeffrey, now you... <laughs> Jeffrey. <laughs> Thank you, Jeffrey. Appreciate that, man. Now you're covering for all them. Ooh, and yourself. Spicy super chat. Hey, Kodama. I am covering Blitz One. Now you're covering... Everybody's covering everybody. Where are we at? A restaurant? Everyone's just covering everybody? Thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you, Ian. Thank you, uh, Emma. My lord. Everyone is covered. We're covered. I think we're good. I think everybody's good. I think everybody has been covered. <laughs> My lord. It's like a... It's like I created a meme. Created a meme in my own universe. That's very dangerous. Very dangerous. <laughs> thank you, guys. No, seriously, thank you all for, for that. Really do appreciate that. I, I appreciate it a lot. Thank you, guys. It means a lot. It really does. It helps me. You, you like, I wish I could explain to you. I wish I could tell you how much it helps me. It helps me a lot. It really does. So thank you guys so much. Okay, so we're going to actually make a dedicated uh, uh, kitchen now. <laughs> we're going to make a dedicated kitchen. Let's go this. Let's go this. Maybe scoot this over one. Scoot this over another. There we go. There we go. Let's scoot this over here. And then we're going to make this the kitchen. Yes, yes, yes. I'm like losing my mind, dude. I feel like I'm getting dizzy for some reason because of just all the complexity going on with my brain in chat now. Um, let's go storage. I I, I do want to add another. So we're we're actually this is this is a big pivotal moment here. This is a big big moment. I want to add a another refrigerator. Yeah, another refrigerator. And then I want to add more tables. I want to add a wall, and then I'm gonna put a door here, and then I'm gonna make a proper kitchen. It'll be a proper kitchen, and then we're going to have a proper dining area here. I find that game still bugged a lot. Y yeah, the game is bugged a bit, I would say. Um, I also feel like, we one, yeah, the game is bugged. The lack of information that you get from the game really drove me nuts. Like, I hated that you couldn't get, like, uh, you know, a lot of information from what's going on. I hated that like like people were getting hurt and dying for unknown reasons and the game wouldn't tell me why people were getting hurt Ooh, a spicy super chat ha 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 no, hey. i'm covering it <laughs> what is going on <laughs> the exploits man thank you thank you for that <clears throat> gonna clip this later i would appreciate that if you did actually lame gaming what is this? I consider it and have in the past, have it in the past. But since I'm on the work comp, I'm sh not sure I want my payment info on it. If one of these happens when I'm off work and on my own. Wait, 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 what? Wait, did I miss something? Oh, I see. Looks similar to other games you have on the channel, but this one more sandboxy, maybe? Uh, this game, yeah, you know, I'm not really, um, uh, well, this game, I've never played this game, and right now, we could be playing in the sandbox if we wanted to, but right now, we're, we're currently just playing the scenarios. This game is $9.99 in Steam. Thank you so much there, Cherokee, for that. Thank you. Is this game on your website? This game is not on the website, yeah. This game is not on the website. I tried to put this game, but um, it wasn't available to put, which is something that uh, some people, I, I probably will have to explain later on. But there's only like a handful of, not a handful, but there's only, there's a lot of games, but there's certain games that are willing to be sold 
on the website and certain games that are not willing to be sold on the website. This is one of them. I, 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 I check. And I, that's going to be like part of my new routine now is whenever I introduce a new game to the series, I'll see if I'll be able to put it on the website or not. But this game wasn't available to be put on. If it was, I, I would have put it on probably because I heard very good things about it. I had very high hopes about it. And um, so far, I'm not disappointed. So far, I am absolutely not disappointed. So I'm, I'm really liking this a lot. So we're going to go ahead and expand our weights here. Now, I know it's weird. We're, we're only served like three people uh, tables here, but it's working. If it's not broke, then don't fix it, dummy, right? Uh, $45? Yeah, $45. We just made the cusp here. I do want to build a wall out and then add a door here and then have a kitchen, a proper kitchen, for sure. This reminds me I've got to go buy Packing House. That was another game. That Well, actually, I didn't want to put that game on my, on my website either because it's not ready. It's not ready yet. It's not ready yet. Like, I, if I were to suggest Packing House... It would take a lot for me right now in the stage that it's at. But I don't want to suggest that game to people because there was a hot fix. There was an update today that fixed some major issues that I'm going to talk about and complain about in the next Packing House episode. But um, even the even the issues they fixed today in the hot fix still doesn't amount for the rest of the game. And I'll go over that more in detail in the next episode of Packing House, which you'll see. Because uh, I already made it, but yeah. Just a forewarning there. There was an update to that game today. But there's more to it that needs to be fixed, I think, before other things happen. And I'll even show you. I'll show you in the, in the freaking video as well, too. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and add this wall finally now. Let's go across. How much is that? 72? So, oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, pause it. Pause it. <laughs> Give them a door. Give them a door. Um, like, I like the staff-only door. I do dig that. Like, like a staff-only door, like, maybe off to the side here. Yeah, I like this. Gives us more room to, um... Yeah, it gives us more room to, uh... To add more tables right here. Very good. Yeah, very good. Uh, but I do want to change the color, though. I do want to change the color. So, in the back here, I would like to maybe go... Oh, not stone. In the back here, maybe, like, a hard... Red? Pillars? Blue? Wood, paper. Um, you know what? We'll stick with the we'll stick with the brick back here, and then let's give them like a nice checkered, like a nice yeah. Can we do shift click? There we go. We'll give them a nice checkered back there, and then for the paint wall out here, we're gonna change it. Maybe blue. Can't afford that. Oh, that costs money. Oh, I thought the I thought it was free. Oh, the the wallpaper is not free. I see. Wallpaper is not free. Oh, the tile is not free either. Uh, all right. I did not catch on to that. That's all right. <laughs> I like the game better than uh, Recipe for Disaster because you don't have to have to hire employees for each job. They just do all the jobs. It's true. But that, that that's kind of like the, the, the charm I do like about Recipe for Disaster is I love... The micromanaging and like having to figure out, all right, which employee is good for where and where. Like I, I do like that. I do enjoy that part of the, the, the part of the game. But I could definitely see if you wanted to casually build a restaurant game, this is way more laid back and you just don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. And you could build a pretty neat restaurant here. So I do, I do see that. Now again, what's happening here is that we are just increase like our intake for potatoes is just out of control. Let's lower that to maybe two now. Now if we were to bring in other like, I don't know if the game is uh, allowing us to have any other menu items or if it's this just strictly fries and nuggets. Just so you guys are aware, we are, um, where are we? Where's the scenario? No, where's the scenario? I don't know how to pull up the scenario. Oh, right here. Um, all we have to do is have a waiting line lower than 30 seconds with 20 people in your restaurant. And then we're done. And then we're done with the scenario. So we're very close to actually ending the scenario. 20 people in the restaurant is the next thing that we need to do now. So that's it. And then we'll go to the next one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm playing Farm Sim 22 while watching this. So relaxing. Farm Sim 2, dude. I'm... I haven't had a chance to get to it. But I'm, go, I'm gonna play that eventually one of these days. One of these days. Right now I'm playing a game with my brother. And, um... Uh, offline when I'm not recording and streaming and things like that. So on my leisure time, I'm playing a game with him. And, uh... It's very rare that... My brother and I have a um, 
it's very rare that me and him find a game that we mutually like that we can play together. Um, so right now we're playing a game that we mutually like and that we're playing together. So I'm like enjoying that that moment right now and enjoying the time I'm spending with him and uh, and playing with him. So, but I, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to get I'm gonna get to farming sim 22 eventually for sure. I've thought about bringing it to the channel. Haven't made that decision yet. I don't know how it would go. I think it would go good. Um, I think it would go good. I think farming sim would fit the channel very well. Problem is, I don't know how well this would do with the game as intense as farming sim. That's the only problem I have. I have the. It's not that I have the lack of confidence in the game. I have mostly the lack of confidence in myself playing the game. That's that's my issue there. Got to do cow farming on it. <laughs> Which, by the way, uh, it was very cool to see. Like, I, I did... Uh, look at the chicken. The chicken intake is very high, too. I did go see the new Spider-Man movie a couple days ago with my brother. And he decided to take me to go see uh, Spider-Man. And um, it was kind of like a birthday thing, you know? Let's go watch Spider-Man. I'll buy your tickets type thing. Even though I bought the food. But that's all right. That's beside the point. He bought the tickets. I bought the food. Uh, oh, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the Spider-Man movie. Really, really did. Liked it a lot. Like, I liked it so much that I, after the movie, I texted Danielle. I was like, I have to go see this with you. And I think we're going to go see it on Monday, Monday night. So maybe we'll see if, if things don't get too busy. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go probably see Spider-Man on Monday. Wait. Me and her, her and I, I don't think I've been to the movies together since Toy Story 4 came out. I think that's the last time her and I have ever been to the movie. So look up the release date for Toy Story 4. That was the last time we ever we were at the movies together. So it's like a big deal. And I know some people are like, oh, it's a big deal that you guys go to the movies. Like, that's the highlight of your week. Yeah, it is, dude. It's a highlight. I don't go that often. It's freaking expensive. It's, it's absolutely expensive. I still can't believe you have not played my oh no dude I've played Minecraft oh I've played I have tons and tons of hours in Minecraft oh no dude I love Minecraft Minecraft um, I I've I've played Minecraft back when it was in beta I played Minecraft when it first released on Xbox um, I play Minecraft even like sometimes even nowadays like I was thinking about um, I was thinking of of actually creating a a server a server on Minecraft for people in the Discord in case they wanted to hang out and do it like I was thinking about doing a Discord Minecraft server community type thing. I that that's in the back of my head that's churning like even nowadays like I'm still thinking about doing that a whole Minecraft uh, server thing for the community. I think that'd be so cool. But I I love Minecraft. Minecraft is dope. and like the new update that just came out, right? The part two to the cliffs and and things update like that. That's pretty cool. Do I like zombie games? Uh, it depends on. The, oh my f! Like he's going for that one chicken. Look, you don't get that chicken. Guess what? You don't get that big man. Do I like zombie games? I do. I do like zombie games. It depends. It depends on what zombie games though. Um, like Left for Dead, fantastic. Uh, State of Decay, I like it. Um. What, I mean, I'm sure there's other zombie games out there if you name some, but like not horror zombies, but like seven days to die. So, OK, I've had content creators like other content creators reach out to me and say, hey, you should join our state of decay or not. Sorry, state of decay or seven days to die. Um, look at them go. You know what? I, I kind of feel like I just need to serve the community. This is me serving the community right now. I got to serve the rat community. Um, <clears throat> I've had other content creators come out and say, hey, will you join our Discord? Or not our Discord, our server for seven days to die. And I, I always been hesitant. I, I've always said, like, uh, right now is just not a good time because I always have something going on. Just because I feel like, one, I, I don't know if I would be good at seven days to die. And that comes, again, That that's, like, kind of going back to the whole, like, Am I confident in what I'm playing 
on camera, right? There's going to be a point in time where I go out of my comfort zone and play a game that I have no idea. I think what's happened is after playing Settlement Survival, my confidence has definitely shot when coming and playing games that are out of my comfort zone. So I just got to like mentally work over that fear again. And, and eventually it'll come through and eventually I'll go out of my comfort zone again and um, and I will uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll overcome it. But until then, <laughs> you know. <laughs> No, I'm not. No, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't bring Minecraft to the channel. That's not what I'm saying. I wouldn't bring Minecraft to the channel. Minecraft, honestly, on the channel just doesn't. It doesn't fit. I know that, just analytically and statistically, and just by people. I'm just saying, just for people who are in the Discord server, people that just want to hang out casually and play games with amongst each other in the community of the Discord server, I would like to have a server for them and possibly me whenever I have free time to play. On the server but no not minecraft videos to the to the channel that's not what i would do i went and saw spider-man also thursday and loved it oh good good yeah that was it was a pretty good it was a pretty good it was a pretty good movie for sure for sure i would love to play minecraft with people in our community i've been playing it for a very long time yeah dude like i said like right now right now currently like, Danielle's, like, kind of, like, what the heck are you watching type thing? Currently, right now, I'm re-watching, like, the Yogg's Cast survival series Minecraft on just my downtime. Just whenever I feel like it, right? And I'm just, like, I, I'm, re I'm reminiscing, right? I'm like, oh, this was such a good time back then, right? It's very good. <clears throat> so, we need more people in the restaurant. We just need more people. I think lower prices would also bring in more people, too. But right now, I'm just trying to save up to keep getting more tables and more tables so that we can get this last uh, hard star here. But no, don't expect this to become a Minecraft channel. No. <laughs> My grandson loves to play Minecraft. Oh. As a matter of fact, I just got done ordering him Minecraft Dungeons Ultimate Collection for Amazon. I played a little bit of Minecraft Dungeons, and I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It was a different take on Minecraft, but um, it's not it's not bad. It's a very easy, casual game to jump into. You can, you can play it for free on Game Pass if you own Game Pass, of course. But, yeah. Like, I used to fantasize a little bit of my, uh, about Minecraft back when it was first, like, in Alpha and Beta, like... It was such a just a concept that was just not around back in gaming, and it was so cool to see and think about. There we go. I know a lot of people on YouTube that have uh, brought Minecraft to the channel, and now that all they do is upload and not now have stopped. I've stopped them. Well, I I know the big reason why they would do that is it's very simple. And it's very easy. It's it, I. <laughs> I could bring Minecraft to the channel and probably possibly explode the channel in some way or fashion because um, Minecraft is just incredibly popular and the people that watch it are typically younger people who have all day to watch younger children, right? Younger kids that have all day to watch videos like that. Like I know that I could bring Minecraft and like go hard on Minecraft and just like have the, and I've been told to bring Minecraft, but I refuse to. If I were to ever bring Minecraft to, uh, like, if I were to ever produce videos of Minecraft, it would be on a totally separate channel. Like, I, I've also thought about things in the future where I might would have multiple channels. Uh, keep this channel the way it is, the way it is. Maybe have another channel for more stuff, for different kinds of stuff. Maybe for, like, RPGs or, or Minecraft or horror games or... Not horror games. What am I talking about? F that. <laughs> um, or, like... You know, other things. Just other things in general. Sports games, maybe. Who knows? Um, you know, there's always that creative brain thinking. And if you ever want to do YouTube or content creation, you always got to have your creative mind continuously growing. I thought about stuff like that. Um, and you guys will be, obviously, the first to know if that were to ever happen. But I would never f mess up the, uh, the flow. I know what I've fallen into. I've fallen into a niche... And um, I got to stick to it, right? You got to stick to it as best as I can. And, uh, and, th and things will, will, will continue, right? Things will continue uh, gradually, right? 
because I wouldn't be able to make videos without people that watch my videos and the people that watch my videos are here for a specific reason, right? They're here for a certain genre, not too much of one genre. Now I'm going to lower the prices here. I'm going to see if that brings in more people, more popularity, more people coming in. Cause we do need like 20, I believe. Yeah. 20 people to be in the restaurant for sure. For sure. Hello mouse. How are you doing? How are you doing? I hate Minecraft because I have had to stop watching several streamers and such because Minecraft took over the channels and all they did every video and every stream was Minecraft. Well, and like I said, like, like I said, Minecraft, big money maker, huge money maker. If you want to make a lot of money, do Minecraft. You want to make a lot of money, do Roblox. Those two, Minecraft and Roblox, you can make tons of money, tons of money off that. But uh, if I was in it for the money, I would, I would go play Minecraft and Roblox right now. No, not for me. No, thank you. Sorry for not being about. I'm here for my last stream for a while. Hey, don't be sorry. Hello, Seesaw. How are you? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing okay. Uh, hope you're doing okay is what I'm saying. Yeah, you know, hope you're doing okay. But don't be sorry. Don't ever be sorry. Minecraft is fun with friends. Minecraft is fun with friends. Yeah, it is. Have you ever played The Sims before? So I've played uh, certain Sims. I've played uh, Sims 3. Sims 3, I think there was like Sims 3's pets. Um, I've dabbled a tiny bit into Sims 4. Not a lot. Uh, played Sims busting out religiously back in back in the day. Played Herb Sims in the city a lot back in the day. Uh, but that's it. And people have talked about like going down the rabbit hole and doing Sims 4. Playing Sims 4 on the channel. Now, Sims is a game I think would fit on the channel because it's a simulation game. That's kind of where we're at at this point is like simulation management, a little bit of RPG kind of games. Oh, storytelling games sometimes do well, sometimes don't depending on the game, uh, things of that nature. You can speed up time for faster money. Good shout. Good shout. What was I, what was I not? What was I on? Was I on one speed? I think I was. Let's go to two speed here. Go to two speed. We'll be going into treatment soon for the scary scary. Oh, no. Seesaw. I have a question for you. <clears throat> was that video you posted of the tiny Xbox, was that just a spoof or did that really happen to you? If so, I'm so sorry that it happened to you. <laughs> that was a bit. That was a bit. It was a, it was a bit. Just a bit. Yeah. <laughs> this is just a reaction video. Just to get people's reaction. Just to be funny just to have fun with it no actually that little xbox is right here check that out it's kind of green screen because of the green screen but uh, it's a little xbox it's a cute little xbox and danielle made it for me and she gave it to me so i guess in reality it did cost a thousand dollars no but uh yeah it was a bit just a bit internationally blank hi from australia dude the aussies are showing up today how are you doing how are you doing intentionally sorry did i say internationally i meant int intentionally blank no i think i did say intentionally how are you hope you're doing well how are we doing on the speed here how are we doing on this still don't have the 20 people in all right very good how are we doing on the money we have enough money now okay so let's slow down time real quick no 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 slow down time let's slow down time and let's bring in some more people here yeah, I think our prices is what's kind of driving people away, maybe. Um, and we'll be able to afford, once we get more volume, we'll be able to lower the prices a little bit more, I think. So let's see here. So yeah, hang on a sec. Let's go 3, 6, 9, 12, 14. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we have 18. So yeah, okay, we just need one more table and we'll we'll, we'll finish it off here. Right, we'll go, um, where can we put this one? I guess we can put this one up the up against this wall, yeah? Like, eh, maybe a two-seater. That's all we need is a two-seater. Um, you know what, let's put the two-seater. Where do we put the two-seater? Um, let's put the two-seater right there. And we'll go chair, chair, chair. And you know what, let's go three-seater, F it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we officially can hold 20 people. 
Now let's go ahead and adjust the prices real quick. Uh, sorry, menu, please. <clears throat> Prize, lower the menu prices so that more people might come. I don't know if that actually works in this game, but we're going to give it a shot here. Okay, let's see. Okay, here we go. Okay, fast forward. You've fallen into the simulation games, but that's why we are all here. A different channel is a good idea for you to play different types. Yeah, good. exactly my point. There you go. Mouse has shouted it out perfectly. Um, I've fallen into simulation games, and I love it. I still love it. Like, I, I love it a lot. I love these games. I love tycoon management games. Um, I grew up on Roller Coaster Tycoon. And um, simulation games, like, cool. I love it. Like, King of Retail. Excuse me for my language. Fucking love it. <laughs> really good. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy where I'm at here. And that's why, like, I think that's that's another reason why is, like, I'm so happy with the people here that I would never want to betray them and be like, hey, best guess what? Tomorrow, we're doing Minecraft and Roblox, and that's all we're doing because I can get a lot of money. No. What the hell is that? Now, I know there's a lot of, like, I think that's what happens is, like, money... Money, dude, it just becomes, like all of people's lives and like you can have the money yeah sure it will money will never you know what money will never buy you happiness it'll make your life maybe a little bit easier but it won't buy you happiness dude like there's a motivational thing where you you learn that from the great content creators um on youtube that they they, they run by a philosophy and that philosophy is that if you want to become full-time you have to have at least three to four months of consistency where you make 25% of what you used to make previously. So if you make at least 25% of the money that you used to make, then it is a sign for you to go to take that big leap and try to go and uh, and work on it, dedicate your life to YouTube. So... There's, there's, there's a, lo a lot of people don't know that, you know, there, there's a, <laughs> there's a, the background to it, right? The background to the whole 25% rule. That's what it's called. 25% rule, I guess you could say. Now we could actually hire more servers probably. That would probably be the best thing to do here is hire more servers, which I'm probably going to do because we have enough money to do it. So let's go ahead and hire another person here. Hire. And this person who is he? Paul. Paul, his priority is very simple. Paul, your priority is, uh... Serving. That's all you're going to do. Serving. So that people don't get their food late. That's all you're going to do. You're going to be a dedicated server. Believe it or not. There you go. There's a game called Paralives, and they say it's meant to be way better than The Sims. I have that on my wish list. Yes. I have that on my wish list. It looks good, but it almost looks too good to be true. But it does look like a straight competitor to The Sims. But we'll have to see. I do have it on my wish list for sure. Don't know when it will come, but I do have it. Would be cool if to do a rags to riches with uh, like base games in The Sims 4. That's the thing. Like, uh, I, I, I I know that there is a trend or was a trend at one point where rags to riches for The Sims 4 um, happened where, like, I believe somebody, like, they started off with, like, a little box and, like, they sold plants. You know, they sold flowers and things like that to start off. Like, it was very, like, super rags to riches. And I, I, I really dig that. I thought that was pretty cool. Were you drink? Were you drinking again when you posted that video on Tiny Xbox? No, I don't drink. I don't usually drink. I don't drink at home. The only time I drink is like casual drinking. Like I'll have like a glass of wine, maybe a glass of beer at dinner if I go to a restaurant. But it's very rare that I go to a restaurant because it's just expensive. There's a dine out DLC for The Sims Four. Oh, isn't that like the restaurant thing? Like managing your own restaurant. Isn't that what it is? Let's see here. Uh, whoops. Here. Having a waiting time lower than 30 seconds with 20 people in your restaurant. Still seems like we can't get that max capacity quite yet. Is there advertising in this game? I don't think there is. Again, we could bring in, like, we can lower the money still. Maybe lower the prices to see how, that, how well that goes. Let's see. Menu prices, bring it down a bit. Let's go back to 20. Yeah, let's go back to 20 and 15. 20 and 15, send it. These are the base prices that we started out in. We'll see if this brings in more people. <coughs> a 
doing good. Thanks for showing us these types of games. Not enough people streaming this style. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm glad I could bring you some games, some new games to your inventory, maybe to your eyes. And that's like one of the great things I love about this channel is bringing, um, ooh, not enough fryers to keep up with the demand. Interesting. That's one of the things I really like about this channel is showing people games. Like that's the whole point of being an influencer is showing people off, like showing people games, like showing things that they normally wouldn't have known about or seen, or maybe showing people that games that people are thinking about but they can't afford to buy you know not everyone can buy every single game you know and so having the ability to show you what a game is like before you make that purchase that's the whole point that's the whole point of being an influencer but by the way check this out we lower the prices and guess what the entire restaurant is full now so uh yeah that was the that was the trick there baby that was definitely a trick now now we just need to get this down the the 74 seconds thing so yeah uh, high demand in the deep fryer. Probably have a couple more chefs going here. And I think we should be wrapping up this uh, first scenario very, very soon. So real quick, I'm going to go ahead and move this over. Cutting board to here. I do want to keep the deep fryers kind of together here. We'll go there. And then we can afford actually another cabinet with another cutting board. There we go. Okay, let's go. There we go. Now, will we be able to keep up with the food demand, though? Now, we have a dedicated server. We might need more chefs, and we might need another server, but that's all right. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. We'll, we'll keep it together. We'll keep it together here. But this was the key here. We have a full house. Now that we have 104 seconds. Oh, my God. Yeah, so. Oh, toilets. Now, toilets are becoming an issue. Very, very interesting indeed. Okay, I feel you. You want to go for that? You want to do toilets? I'll do toilets. Um, I guess we can build this out a little bit. Did not expect this to be where we're at, but here we are. We're here. <laughs> Back to the toilet game. Now, I will move a few things, but I will make like a dedicated uh, bathroom, of course. Can I take this? Yeah, we're going to put that right there. Move this over to here. Move this over to here. Oh, God, no. There you go, and then right there, and then like, I don't know how big the bathroom needs to be. I think it could be kind of, kind of small. Let's do that. Let's do like a nice small bathroom. Like a one-seater, like a very, very like small, tiny bathroom that you would see at a very tiny, small, I don't know, freaking, uh, what the heck is this, a stall? That is a stall. Is this a door? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, that works. Where's the bathrooms? That's not a bathroom. Uh, toilet. Sink. Yeah, let's do the sink. I'm sure they use the sink in this game. Okay, let's see. Do they use the sink? Toilet? Oh my god, the sink is like on top of them. They use the sink! Hey! They actually use the sink in this game. How good is that? Oh, that's good. That's so good. Clean plate shortage. Okay, uh, let's get more clean plates in. We can max this out there. There we go. Max out the clean plates. Bring in the plates. Very good. Cool. Awesome. I find dying out too big buggy. With rats to rich rags to riches, and goal is to have a fully staffed restaurant or store. Story 2, your channel's most popular series is Teardown. Is it Teardown? I thought it was Metro Sim Hustle. But Teardown is, is one of the series up there that is uh, very popular indeed. Can't wait for it to come out. My niece is so talented, I have no place to put the painting she did for, my, for, for me for Christmas. It's laying on my desk right now, and I keep looking at it and smiling. Aw. Is it, like, enough? Can you, like, put it in a frame or anything like that? What is the attraction of roadblocks? Roadblocks? Or, oh, are you meaning, like, Roblox? Are you meaning that game? Are you talking about the game? It might not be... It might not buy happiness, but I would love to have enough to rent it. <laughs> have you having time off for Christmas or anything? Are you having any time off for Christmas? Uh, no. No. No no time off for Christmas. Absolutely not. Um, 
back to the whole like jumping full force into this um i can't afford to take the time off for christmas but um there will be videos coming out on christmas that are not gaming related just so um anybody that are watching series of any certain games or anything like that um i don't want to take my time away from you guys on christmas uh, or i don't want to take christmas time away from you guys i should say so uh, the, the videos that will come out on Christmas next week, it won't be, which is exactly, it's like seven days. Um, it won't be gaming related. It'll be something else. And I hope you guys enjoy that instead. <laughs> did you ever play Two Point Hospital? I did. I did. Well, we briefly played it. We actually have a few live streams on the, um, on the channel. If you go to the, you go to the, if you go to my homepage, on the channel and you click on um what if you do you just click on uh past live streams or if you could just search the channel maybe search my name and it might come up yeah we did play a two-point hospital uh for sure on the channel we did live streams a few of them we didn't do like a complete series on it though but we did play them uh two-point campus i want to see what two-point campus is about i do i do i do this is a little weird on huh, this table I should probably fix this There's a, okay, we're, we're below the 30 seconds. We just need 20 people in here. <laughs> so we're below the 30 seconds when it comes to one, two, wait, uh, two, four, six, eight, eight people. We might just need to ha have more servers and more cooks. That just might be where it is. This is the hard part, right? This is the hard part of the scenario. Can't wait for uh, Two Point Campus. I know the game looks so good. Yeah, Two Point Campus is on my wish list. I regret, I regret the day I introduced the elf on the shelf to this house. I am so sick of him. <laughs> I saw like a TikTok of elf on the shelf and like the parents were like hiding the elf from the children because they were sick of it. They're like, no, they can't. He can't find it. Stop it. They're trying to stop the madness. So real quick, where are we sitting at here seconds wise? Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and hire somebody. We can finally hire another person. Let's hire another uh, dedicated. Actually, let's hire two people. Let's hire two people. We'll have Daniel and we'll have Andy. Uh, Andy will be another, uh, cook. Yeah, another cook. We'll have you cook. Priority cook. Turn you off on that. Turn you off on that. Well, maybe dishwasher. I should probably bring in another dishwasher, honestly. And then Daniel, you'll be serving. Strictly serving. That's all you'll do is serve. Maybe until, until, we'll see. But I definitely do need another dishwasher. Five dishes at a time is not, is not, it's not ideal. It's definitely not ideal. There we go. Dishwasher. Very good. Awesome. Okay. Let's see what happens here. There we go. So now we have two dedicated servers. Will our time go down once we have 20 people into this uh, restaurant? Looks like our time is now down-ish with 60 to 70 seconds. He's a legend. <laughs> Elf on the shelf. He's a legend. Okay. Real quick, let me just fix this. There we go. Actually, I don't think I fixed it quite yet. There we go. Whoever sits on that in that table or at, at that chair, look, you're gonna get the uh, you're gonna get the ass end of the deal with the bathroom there. <laughs> okay. Next year he's invisible here, but next year he is having a baby, so he can't come back. Today I'm gift wrapping the doorways in the house. Forgot that I have to use the bathroom soon. So you're gift wrapping the door. Does that mean like you you wrap the the door frames? Is that what you mean? How do you, what do you mean by uh, gift wrapping the door the? You said the doors, right? Doorways, yeah. Is that doing like the door frames? Still trying to get that thirty seconds, twenty people. We might need another cook, maybe another server. Thirty seconds. Hell, like I said, we might need another. I need another server. I just want to see how many seconds we have when this uh, when the restaurant is at full capacity here. But I'm not seeing that very well. I have a dedicated cleaner, another dedicated cleaner. Probably not a bad idea. New review. What's the review? This is a good restaurant. It's nice and clean, but the decoration could be improved. You're not wrong. You're definitely not wrong. I'm thinking about hiring one more waiter. More tables adding. That's another uh, shout there, too. 
Come on. Come on. We can hit this, yeah? We just need all these stables filled. Hey! Hooray! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. So there we go. We completed this entire scenario. Easy, medium, and hard. That's our fast food. Oh, I love it. Very good. Let's save that. Um, fast food hard, sucker. There we go. Great job. Okay, let's go to the next scenario. Route 66, baby. All right, man, I gotta go pick up the wife from the hospital. Wait, from the hospital? I hope she's not in the hospital. I hope she works at the hospital and not in the hospital. Keep up the great videos, mate. See you soon. You have a very good day. Have a great day there, X Blitz Gaming. Have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for stopping and by. And thank you so much for making and covering everybody on the Super Chat. Really do appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. And uh, I'll hope to talk to you soon. I'll take a pic and show you in the Discord. Oh, please do. Please do. So here we go. Um, we have a new restaurant hang on let's pause it real quick we have a new restaurant here this is route 66 and this actually hits home to me very much so because um my family like my grandmother she's really into the route 66 thing she owns an old style gas station like this um but it's not operable she just has it just to have it right uh <laughs> it's like a it used to be an old style gas station with the old style pumps it turned into a, gar a car dealership, and then the car dealership sold it to her, and then she just made it a place to put all her old cars and s giant school buses and yoo -hoo trucks. I'll have to take a picture and put it in the Discord anytime I go down to her properties. She has a couple of properties. Yeah, she has a giant yoo -hoo truck. I think it, no, it's not a yoo -hoo truck. Maybe it's a Nesquik truck. Anyway, she has like an old school school bus as well. She has a lot of cool cars, a lot of dune buggies, like old... Uh, buggy like Volkswagens back in the day like the off-road buggies not dune buggies but like off-road buggies I think that's what they're called very cool stuff I'll have to take pictures and show y'all in the discord sometime <clears throat> but yeah uh so this is really cool I love this like antique not antique but like this what the heck is going on here this is very strange why is this so strange this is incredibly strange <laughs> this needs help this already needs help uh so dishwasher will put right there uh, put that there. What the heck is this? Okay, the cabinet. Let's fix the cabinet a little bit. Put that there. Let's put the deep fryer back here. I think this is supposed to be all, uh, all weird here. Maybe put that there. Move this to, where's the dishwasher need to go? Dishwasher there. We're going to need to expand the kitchen back here. Uh, cutting board here. Bring this out there. Okay. So that has been kind of like, a, you know, rounded out. Now, we do have the jukebox, which I'm very interested in. Very interested in. There we go. We'll put that there. Um, whoops. Uh, here. There we go. There we go. Oh, I know. We can go like this. This. Rotate this. There. 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 Okay. Now, we just need to fill it in. <laughs> fill it in, baby. Fill it in. Fill that in. Um there put this over here this there bring this out there's so many uh we might be able to sell a few for some money yeah there we go we are starting with negative 300 so we can't hire anybody so we're gonna have to sell some tables and things like that which is okay um get rid of this probably get rid of this get rid of this this and this so there we go we've completed the first start which is easy we do have some potatoes so we don't need to worry about that let's go ahead and add that to oh look at this stuff the fries the bread the pizza the soup the avocado the nuggets the steak the burger oh ice cream cake pancakes donuts add this okay we can't make that can't make that can't make that there's a bunch of new things that we can make very cool very very cool we brought in chicken. We can make chicken nuggets. I think fries is good for now. <gasps> Beverages. A cappuccino. Wine. Mocha. Coffee. Hey. Um, where does our 
build or buy land here. Is it bigger than the last or is it the same? Or is, is there no buy land? Okay, so there's no buy land. We can't buy anything. So if anything, we got to go up into the levels. Maybe the second level. If that's the case, that's very spicy. I don't know how I'm going to handle that. There we go. Do that. Do that. Cool. All right. All right. So medium, make 500 coins profit in a month. Hard, make 800 coins profit in a month. I don't even know how much we made in the last restaurant. I don't even know if it was even near um, that much money. But, okay, we have fries, so that's good. Make sure that we have enough plates. Max it out, 14. Make sure that we have a person to hire. There we go. Give him a job. Uh, John, you're going to do everything at, at the beginning here. You're going to do everything. And, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and send it. Clean it up. And uh, we'll wait. Dude, this is such a small looking restaurant now. Ooh. 10 on the 23rd. His birthday is the day after me. Right? Day after? Yeah, day after me. Incredible. OKC is in the heart of Route 66. I love it. I want to take a trip down Route 66 to see it. Travel the entire Route 66, right? How amazing would that be? She's in the hospital, but due to COVID rules, I'm only allowed to be in there for two hours per day. Really? Wow. I hope you're doing okay, Xplits. Hope she's doing okay. Hope it's not something too crazy, too serious. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine the, the moms that had to, uh, at least where I live, the moms that had to... Um, have babies like during covid like you were not allowed to like have your husband or your boyfriend in like could you imagine not having your family there at the at the um at the hospital when you're having a baby like jesus <laughs> jesus <laughs> you know crazy hope she does get better the music only came out of one of of one that's called Music When I Played. Okay, so <clears throat> let's see here. Oh, so that one. Okay. Maybe I replace that with the jukebox then. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see. Let's let's give this a try. There you go. Welcome to my freaking diner. Yay! Thank you. Oh, this is great. Oh, I love it so much. Okay. Um, <clears throat> very good. Very good. I, I dig this. I dig the ambience now. Now I really dig it. So good. I don't know what this is called. I don't know if this is called, like, what genre this is. But, like, the music that's in, like, the 1920s and the 1930s. Is that, like, big band music? Is that what it's called? Big band music? But I like it. I dig it a lot. Danielle got me a birthday gift. And it is sick. It is absolutely sick. She got me a birthday gift. And she gave it to me. Not on my birthday. I don't know why she didn't. She just can't wait. She's not patient. But she gave me a birthday gift. And I love it. You hear that music, dude? So good. I'm going to fast forward time here a little bit. So we're going to need to hire... Yeah, we're going to need to hire some people here. I think we have enough money to do so. Yeah, we should. Now, do we have our potatoes on a repeating uh, process here? We do not have our potatoes on a repeat, repeat process here. So let's make sure that we have at least five, maybe three, four, maybe... Let's do four. Four on repeat. We'll do four on the repeat. And then we'll go... Um, we'll hire somebody. We'll go hire... And then this guy will be Robert. So we have John. John who can... Um... I just realized, where do they put the food when they cook it? Who serves it? <laughs> How does that transition work there? Does the... Uh, that's weird. <laughs> uh, okay, so Robert, you will do strictly serving. Cleaning. John, you will do no serving. You will do just cooking. And you will do dishwashing along with no cleaning. There we go. Prioritize. My birthday is in June. Central Florida rail fan. There's a lot of train fans out there. I have a, I have a giant, like, bridge with 
a rail a ra railroad bridge that goes over some of our rivers and uh, some of our uh, uh, parks and everything that I should take a picture sometime. But your birthday's in June. Good to see you. Hello, Central Florida Rail fan. Hope you're doing well. Very chill, making me forget my pain. <laughs> Seesaw. Come on now. Come on now. I hope you're doing okay. Hello, Talisa. How are you doing, Talisa? Hope you're doing well. Yeah, yeah. This is the time to close your eyes, ladies and gentlemen. This is the time to close your eyes. Relax. Possibly fall asleep. If you're watching this in the replay of the stream, hey. It's alright. Close your eyes. It's okay. Let's just take this moment. Okay, um, let's make sure that we have enough potatoes coming in. Now, four is not going to be enough anymore. We're going to need to get, like, maybe six in, bring in six, and then possibly now switch it over to the chicken menu, right? Bring in the chicken nuggets, have that going on. But the one problem that I have here is going to be, like, space uh, inventory here. It's going to become a problem before you know it. So we got to really delegate here and, and, and think about what we're going to do. This is kind of interesting. It is interesting indeed here. Not enough fryers. We can get in a fryer. It's interesting. Like, I don't know where we sit. Like, if we need to go two stories or not. I'm really not sure. We might not have to. Thinking about it. We might be able to make just enough money to do our completion here. Where's our completion at? Our scenarios. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Up in the prices. Not a bad idea. Having more tables. Not a bad idea. I mean, can we make 800 coins in profit if we sell strictly fries? I don't know. But this kitchen back here is going to be very, um, <laughs> very chaotic. Now, we could expand it out maybe by one wall. Ingredient shortage. What is that ingredient? Is that potatoes? Probably potatoes. Because that's the only thing we serve. Okay. Now, if I add something else to the menu, like chicken, we won't need to have so much potatoes in. It all depends, right? I'm kind of seeing here. I'm going to fast forward time, see how well this month goes in profit-wise. What's the review here? Restaurant is all right. It's nice and clean, but the restaurant could use some extra toilets. Ay. <laughs> uh, the toilets. I'm doing awesome. Thanks for asking. I hope you're having a great day. I'm having a good day. Hope you're having a great day, too, Talisa. Good to see you again. Good to see you. <laughs> all right so this is a new month folding over so i just i, I want to see real quick with the new month how much profit we do end up getting without spending you know money on like deep fryers and stuff how much money are we getting to or how much money are we obtaining a month in profits i know we could probably check our statistics but i just want to see how the the ticker goes up here sometimes that's easier for me just to kind of get in my head like oh 300 out of 500 or, or so on and so forth right because any expenses that we do adds to this number. Where are we at? February 17th? Oh, it's going to be a short month too, huh? Great. Having more tables is something that I'm going to... Oh, God. Having more tables I'm going to need to do. Having more food is also something I'm going to need to do as well. Let's get that in. Maybe a couple of chickens. Now we can kind of transition into, into that. Yeah, that, that will increase our um, profits. But where do I put a fridge in this little tiny? I guess I could squeeze a fridge in right there. There we go. Okay, we'll squeeze in a fridge and we'll go chickens maybe on the regular for like four. Half of the potatoes. Half of the potatoes. And then let's add that to the menu, please. Chickens. Sorry, nuggets. <laughs> We'll add the nuggets. We gotta wait for that to come into the into the restaurant first. Once that comes, everything's good. Everything's good, and we'll add that to the menu as well. You can't pick her up yet. She not ready yet? Better not be no COVID protocol. Better be like, oh, she's just not ready yet. She'll be she'll be done soon. 
still an ingredient shortage. Increase. I don't want to increase this because I know once the chicken does come in, we're not going to have that shortage very much longer. So I just got to wait for the delivery guy to come through. There's the guy. There he is. <laughs> Tiny box, but he has it. Okay, here we go. Add it to the menu now. Boom. Okay. Very good. Hiring more people. Like, this is very, this is very strange. Like, such a small area here. I mean, maybe a second floor. Maybe two stories. Maybe. Hustling and bustling has definitely happened, though. I dig it. Because I got to, like, make a decision. If I put more uh, tables and, and things of that nature, I then got to, like, maybe think about adding this whole area over here as part of the kitchen and then the dining room going upstairs, right? And maybe that's what I do. Maybe that's just flat out what I do. They're not going to let her go until after two for some reason. After two. I wonder when two is for you <laughs> compared to me. Like 2 a.m., 2 p.m. I keep expecting you to assign fryers to the employees. I know, right? <laughs> Robert is complaining about the high workload. Okay, so Robert is complaining about the high workload. That's fine. Uh, Robert is our server and our cleaner who occasionally cooks, I guess, and dishwashes. No, not anymore. So let's go ahead and hire another person. This is going to cut into our profits, believe it or not, but uh, we have to do it. Okay, so who do we have here? Michael. Michael. Michael, my man. Michael, you will be um you will be cleaning, <clears throat> serving, no cooking. And then we're going to take John off the dishwashing and you will You know what? We'll do <clears throat> we'll do you do dishwashing and cleaning and then we'll have a dishwasher cleaning server server cleaning dishwasher. Does that make sense? Probably not. And then I'll start to make a transition here where I'm going to have to include a second story, I think. New review. What's that? Good restaurant, nice and clean. But the menu could be improved. Yeah, the kitchen's just not big enough for the for an improved menu yet. It is 10 p.m. for me. Oh, my Lord. It's almost 2 p.m. for me. It's currently 8 a.m. for me. I'm a day ahead of you. <laughs> it's Saturday for you. It's Sunday for me. Okay. So... <clears throat> Yeah, it's like one, it's 1.46 p.m. on a Saturday. Almost 8 a.m. for you on a Sunday. Good God. Good God. That's crazy. So you know the future. What happens tomorrow? <laughs> okay, let's add more chicken. Six. Once these people get out, I think I'm going to bring the tables down and then add, like how much is a is a is a staircase though? 400. Interesting. Now wait a sec. Could I make a profit off slot machines, claws and arcades? I might be able to. Definitely might be able to. God damn, this line is so long. Like, I can't build out anywhere else now, right? Okay, land not own. Buy land. Yeah, there's just no way to buy any land out here. So we have to go up if we want to expand. I see. Oh, you could put flowers on the table to make people happier? Oh, I didn't know that. Good shout. I'm also living in Sunday morning. <laughs> it's almost 5 p.m. for you. Well, yeah, you're 3 p. You're three hours ahead of me in Florida, right? <clears throat> You upload your buggy airport CEO to the channel? Wait, what? What? What are you talking about? Can you do anything with the station, like delete it or the cars? Uh, no, the station's just there for, for looks, I think. Yeah. Let's do a tiny little flower and put that on. Help the ambience. <gasps> you can. It's so good, right? Ah. Oh. <laughs> nice so that makes them happier but we're, we got to go up we need to like go up with it we need to have like the dining room on the second level i think and then make this the kitchen even more that's kind of where we're sitting at right now 
one uh, thing that we could obviously do here is to, 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 to detract this long line. Very simple, very easy. Uh, increase prices. Yeah, that will slow down everybody and their mother to come in here. Now people would be like, oh, maybe I'll think twice before ordering here, right? But then our profits will go up. I like Florida. Florida is fun. I've been to Florida, I think, twice in the past year. Well, twice in the past year and a half. I like Florida. Wrong content creator, my bad. <laughs> Airport CEO. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Airport CEO. Were you watching... Were you watching Dave in the wee hours? Maybe. 3.49 p.m. PM on a Saturday here. <clears throat> Is that mountain time or central time? New review. This restaurant is all right. It's nice and clean, but the menu could be improved. Look, lady, don't insult me about my menu. But look at our profits are going up a lot here. 11 p.m. Saturday night. You're going to be dozing off here in a few minutes, aren't you, queen? <laughs> Dave in the wee hours. If you don't know who I'm talking about, it's another YouTuber. Kind of does similar games as me. There's a few. There's a couple of YouTubers that I watch. Uh, Dave in the wee hours I watch I like to watch him cook kick kick him on when I'm uh, editing videos um, Solid content that's another content creator. I like to watch too. I kick him on as well and uh, Watch his videos from time to time when I uh, hey No, 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 no rap for you, man. Hey when I'm editing videos as well So I'm just kind of building up enough money so that I can expand real quick so the line has gone. I mean, the line's gone because we, we increase the prices, which is good. It gives us a sec to breathe and then make our decisions with our money here going forward. Conflicted nerd. Okay, conflict conflict nerd. Uh, Geek cupboard is another one. Conflict nerd. Conflict nerd. I've, I know of him too. I don't know him personally, but I know. NYC Devin. Coming out of straight from New York City. Devin, how's it going? How are you doing, Devin? Hope all is well. Good to see you, Devin. Okay. All right, so, oh, damn it, that lady's still there. I'm kind of waiting for this table to be empty before I go into it. Okay, storage racks are full. Interesting. Well, we don't have that high demand anymore. Oh, my Lord. We're making a mess. Oh, my God, we're making a mess. Okay, 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 okay. We're making a mess. Tone it down. Tone it down, dude. Tone it down a little bit. Maybe five? No, maybe... F you know what? This is what we'll do. We'll go five and five, and we'll turn off repeat. That's what we'll do. And we'll wait for that to, to catch up. But in the meantime, I want this to be gone. I want this table to move so that I can work here. There, You know what? The rat deserves it. He deserves it. Look at him go. Look at him go. He deserves it. Doing gr you're doing great. That's awesome. How am I doing? I'm doing good as well. Doing good as well. Glad that you're doing great. Good to see you, good to see you Devin. Geek cupboard, pretty good. But for some reason, he slowed down his content. Yeah, he slowed down his content. Um... I think in the past month, uh, it's because right now he's in a transitioning phase. He's currently, um, uh, he, he, he has part of his house that's being remodeled. So I think he, he said he has to, uh, I think he's staying at his in-laws house or maybe his parents house or something right now. So he, he, he's really releasing a bunch of videos on pre-recorded stuff. So he should be back to normal, normalcy, um, and I think weeks times, but uh, yeah, he's right now his house is being remodeled. I think is what's happening. So he had to slow down a little bit. Well, I'm, I'm sure he'll get right back to it. I'm sure he'll get right back to it. That's a clever rat. It's a very clever and cute rat. I have to say that. Okay, so finally this is gone and moved. So let's move this entirely. Item in use? No, it's not in use. I promise you. Let's move this entirely. I think it's because of the plates on it. I don't want anybody sitting here. Just someone clean the plate. Thank you. Okay, we'll move this. 
Oh, it's good. It's good that we can actually have the, um, you can move the table in the plant. Okay, so <clears throat> let's see here. How are we going to do this? Well, I need this table now empty. <laughs> I need this table vacated. Uh, but for the meantime, let's do this. Let's go wall out. Let's go here. Kind of expand out a little bit. Delete this wall. That will be part of the kitchen. It's going to be a very strange kitchen. Yeah, this is going to be very strange. But we'll have that for now. And then we'll go put this table back. Right there. Put this over here. Put this here. Put this here. Excuse me, my man. Okay. And this, you can move, honestly. You could probably put this in the kitchen. Maybe. It's a little bit claustrophobic in there. I'm going to... Like, this isn't going to be the end. I'll, I'll probably push the wall out one more. But for right now... <clears throat> Until I get the second level, this is what I have to do. Okay, so we gotta wait for these people to move now. And then once these people move, I think this is where I'm gonna put the staircase. Yeah. It's gonna be interesting seeing the food and how the food gets up to the top level, though. <laughs> Look at that. We're actually, actually, we're actually, actually, we're just about to hit 500 uh, coin profit in a month. That's very good. We might actually hit it. How much time's left in the month? Oh, we have like a couple days. Oh, we got it, dude. Come on. We got it. May 30th. May 31st. May 31st. Right? Yo! Let's go. So we hit that. Very good. And only three tables we did that with. Awesome. So I'm actually going to take this back. Start taking these uh, chairs away from this table. And I think I'm going to put the stairs right here. Yeah. Central standard type. Did the rat just walk out with cheese? Okay, now I've seen it all. No, it's incredible. The 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 freaking rat picks up my picks up my potatoes and just takes a hike. <laughs> it's freaking funny. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> As a pest control, I would recommend a rat trap and keeping up with your housekeeping. <laughs> Am I out of? Oh, I'm out of. Oh crap! I'm out of chicken. My bad. Sorry. Uh, repeat. Chicken, please. Repeat the chicken for like four. Thank you. Maybe that's why we got so much profit because we stopped our repeat on uh, ingredients. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, she's not going to be very happy with this. I know, I know. You need the toilet and the chicken. Well, this is going to be the worst review of your life. I'm going to get a one star Yelp review here in a sec. The rat is back, but deservingly. Oh, there he goes. How cute is that? It's extremely cute. Like, I don't. Like, that's a big ass rat. That's a New York City rat. Like I said, that's a New York City rat. There you go. Ah, oh, dang, I missed my opportunity to move the chairs. Let me focus on this table real quick. Our toilet. We're going to bring in a bathroom. Don't worry, we'll bring in a bathroom eventually. Probably on the second floor, maybe on the first floor. Who knows? Yep, you're going to leave. Rightfully so. That's all right. At least when people leave and they're like, you know, they don't get what they want. At least it's not like too, like, uh, like the consequences don't hurt as much like they do in Recipe for Disaster, right? You love, you love that one chair casually sitting there? <laughs> I know, I'm trying to make sure that they don't sit down. Wait, did all the chicken go by? Did they already use all the chicken? Oh my god. Let's go five chickens in? They used all the chicken already. Everybody wanted chicken. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the stairs here. We're gonna see how that... Oh, there's another rat. I'm gonna put a rat trap down. I'm afraid... Uh, I'm, <laughs> that really is a New York City rat. I'm afraid to put a rat trap because, like... Is it going to smash the rat? Because I, I feel horrible. <laughs> I feel horrible if it does. Okay, there we go. All right. So we should have enough money. Yeah, we have plenty of enough money to do this. So stairs. How does this work? Okay, so it's a, it's a little bit bigger than I was expecting, actually. Which is all right. Because we can go right there with it. No space on the top floor. Wait, what? Oh, I see. Right? Toggle up. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. We want flooring, right? Flooring. Oak. There we go. There we go. Okay. All right. I figured it out. 
I can't shift click, unfortunately, but that's all right. We do gotta gotta build this out a little bit. I didn't think about that. They can't be just sitting up here on a freaking balcony now, can they? I might have to do something with the wood floor here, though. Okay, let's see here. Uh, t -t 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 stairs. Oh, good. Did that work? How does that look? Coming up though. No, that doesn't work. It's all right. Move it back. Now that works. Excellent. Cool. Great. That works perfect. Excellent. 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 Nice. Okay. Cool. Now wait, can they actually be served up here, even though it's like, <laughs> even though that it's like open, like an open patio type thing? That'd be interesting. But this is where I am going to start moving a few things. I don't know if there's like a toggle button I can do here. Now wait a sec. I'd like to take this up, please. Maybe I can't move this up. Is there is there like a quick button here? Is it like Alt or Tab? No. Have you noticed there's music now, or did you turn it on in the background? I actually turned it on. Uh, I didn't turn it on with the background. I bought this. I, I bought a record player. So buying the record player uh, gave us the ability to turn on the. Um, well, it gives us the ability to turn on the uh, the music there. That rat is stocking up. Oh, the rat obliterates the rat, like off the face of the earth. Oh, the rat trap obliterates the rat off the face of the earth. <laughs> Does it? Oh God. So I'm, I'm having an issue here. I want to bring this up with me to the top, but I don't know if I can or not. I don't think I can. Bye, Ryan. Have a great day, Ryan. Have a good rest of your evening, wherever you may be. Do take care. Um, let's go... Like, what if we made a bar upstairs? That'd be really cool. Oh, there's so many cool possibilities to this game. Let's just go regular table. We'll go regular table... And uh, we'll do like a nice corner table, I guess. Nothing too crazy. We'll stick with the same kind of decor. Do like a two-seater here. Nothing too crazy, right? Nothing too crazy. We have enough money, kind of. And then we'll start going through here. Be right there, like that, and like that. And like, they're on the edge of death here. Let me see if I have enough money to give them a proper secured area. Now, I would like to have the kitchen have um, an upstairs or like a staircase as well, which actually might work. If I did the same layout as the bottom to the top. Now, I don't think I want to do that thinking about it now. And I hope I don't have enough money for this. There we go. 112. I don't know if I can afford this. Oh, I can. Oh, so good. So, so good. Okay, great. So now we have like the upper going on. What I'm going to do back here or right here, um, that's to be determined for now. Actually, I think I have an idea, but for right now, I'm just going to put this here. I mean, honestly, you know what? Let's just get rid of that. We'll get rid of that stuff and we'll go up a floor and I will add, um, I will add flowers flowers one thing to get the decoration going on there we go we'll have that this is gonna be a weird transition i'm, I'm not I, I i'm i'm not prepared for this <laughs> i'm really not prepared for this downstairs look at this downstairs we're gonna do a little bit of wall action here we're gonna go wall I like it okay uh okay so wall okay actually i don't like it <laughs> um no i like it do i <laughs> um how do i want to do this uh you might be thinking what are you doing just give me a moment. Maybe this. <laughs> okay, if I did this. Okay, hang on. Like, this is like closet bathroom kind of stuff. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Go here. 
and I go, it's going to be funny as hell. Door? And then I go, <laughs> I go, I don't know if I can afford a, a toilet here. I go, toilet? Oh! I can't see. I can't see with the, with the, with the, with the, with the, with the freaking, with the walls. Toilet right there must be placed on none. Excuse me. Let's see. Oh, okay. So that's not gonna work. All right. So that's not gonna work as 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 I thought it was going to. I was gonna put a toilet right there, like a bathroom, little, like really hidden, secluded, uh, toilet. But that that ain't gonna work. Okay. I might have to bounce this back a little bit more, and have just an awkward weird way of doing my toiletry business. I could expand the kitchen. I could. Or I could make this very strange. And I think I want to make it strange because I like the strange idea here. I know we're wasting a little bit of money here, but what if I did that and then did bathroom door and then like threw this in. Uh, you know what? Actually, this is what I'll do. I'll do uh, wall and I'll go wall there. And there we go. That I mean, <laughs> and then put a toilet right there in the window. Yes, great job. I have to when I can afford a sink, I'll put in a sink. But look at that, probably the best window of all time. Now let's let's be real here. Let's get rid of that window, and let's get rid of that window, and let's uh, let's change it to maybe a closed window. Is that possible? Like a blind. Yeah, I like that. That's a little bit better. Cool. Like a blind? Like he can shut the blinds, dude? Okay. I know it's weird. It's very strange. Uh, but, hey, we can at least put a table right here, too. Which I'm going to do. I'm going to put a table, indeed. But I don't have enough money yet. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's actually get rid of this. There we go. That rat's going to take that. That's fine. Okay, cool. Woo! That was a lot. <sighs> that was a lot. Could maybe put the bar under the stairs. That would have been sick, actually. That would have been sick, putting the bar under the stairs. Damn it. <clears throat> put the cleaning room under there. Hello, ICK or Ick. Hi, CK. How are you doing? This game I have to build a lot or no? Uh, no, not a lot. Not a lot. How are you doing, Marcus Ice? Hope you're doing well today. How are you doing? How's it going, Marcus Ice? Uh, in this game, you don't really have to build too much. Not a lot. At least, I don't know. I've never played this game. We're doing scenarios. I'm not playing sandbox mode or anything. But, um, I, I, I want to change the wallpapers, of course. But that, that's going to have to be in, in, in time here. Ingredient shortage. Really? Ingredient shortage? What's happening here? What, 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 are we, what are we missing? Chicken? We're missing chicken? Let's get some more chicken. Well, the delivery's coming soon. Maybe bump that up to six. Uh, somebody's complaining about workload. Why is there a high workload? I don't know. Now, one thing is going to be interesting is trying to focus this a little bit. Having the two here, like kind of like dealing with the two floors now, right? That's going to be a little bit strange, but uh, we can get it done at least. That's good. So if like, and like, honestly, you don't have to do what we're doing here. Like you don't have to have first floor dining, second floor dining, but I'm kind of doing it right now, right? I don't know. It's a little strange. It is a little strange. Sometimes in restaurants, you have dining exclusively on the second floor and the kitchen on the first floor. Very rare, but you do have those times, and I've been to restaurants like that. They're usually fancy, of course, but yeah. Just, really, just recently discovered the channel. Love the content. Hey, Thank you, ICK. Thank you, Ick. I don't know how you want me to pronounce that, but thank you so much. Really do appreciate the kind words. Things like that help me keep going every single day. So thank you very much. Bless you. I'm well. Thanks for that. Good. Good, Marcus. Good. Good to see you, Marcus. I'm glad you're doing well. Good to see that. How are we doing upstairs? I mean, probably like I get it. Like, the staff is going to be overworked here. We're going to need to get a little bit more staff, I think, in. Uh, we still need to, like, figure out and make sure that our food is coming in at a, at a decent uh, rate here. It does seem like it is coming in at a decent rate now. Very good. 
We are in fast forward time. Yeah, we are. Okay, so let's think about hiring another person. Let's hire another person. And then this person, who's this? William? Yeah, William. William, what are you going to do for us? So William, what are you going to do, William? William, you're going to clean, I think. You're going to go strictly, oh, you're going to go strictly cleaning. Maybe that's all you do is clean. And then we'll give Michael, Michael will come off of the cleaning. Oh, sorry. Michael will come off of the... No. Robert will come off of the cleaning so that he is strictly just doing serving. And we have one dedicated server, one dedicated cleaner. And that's what we'll do. This restaurant is alright, but the menu could be improved. Look, ladies, you have a freaking bathroom. Oh my god, it's disgusting. <laughs> oh my god. It's a disgusting toilet. <laughs> Go clean that. Yeah, there you go. Get that done. Very good. Good job. Now, again, I can move the broom, but, like, what's the point right now? I do want to add another table right here. I do, I do, I do. There's our delivery man. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Love the house building simulator videos. Really? Very good. They're pretty neat, huh? They're actually pretty neat. Um, I always like those kind of construction games. They're easy to go through, kind of click through. They're pretty neat, for sure, for sure. Okay, let's see. We should have enough money to go boom, 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 with some flowers. How much is a flower? 69? 50. Send it. Oh, ho, ho. yeah. Now. One thing that could really help us right now is going into our menus and lowering the price now. Let's go ahead and lower the price. Let's bring up traffic again so that, um, yeah, more traffic, right? We want more traffic. I mean, how's upstairs doing? I mean, upstairs still killing it. Very good. New, rev new review. Not enough sinks. Really? What the heck just happened here? Not enough sinks? This restaurant's all right. It's nice and clean, but the menu could be improved. This restaurant's all right, but the menu could be improved. Which is nice. Clean. Okay, okay. I think eventually we kind of like migrate upstairs for the dining room. Just so we can have more room in the kitchen. Yeah, for sure. How are we doing on the uh, goals here? Still trying to make it to the hard star here. But we'll see. Hello, Lisa. How are you? How are you? I should do more. I would do more of house building. But unfortunately, uh, it lost a lot of interest in people. And the, the videos just didn't perform very well. So I had to, I had to step away from it. Yeah, maybe try new food. Yeah, definitely got to try in some new foods here. So the next thing I think I want to try is, oh God, the potatoes are getting low now. Now we're running low on potatoes. Let's make sure that we have enough potatoes. Uh, oh, we didn't even have them on repeat. So let's make sure that we have five on repeat. So on the menu here, there's a couple of ways we can go. We can go bread, but that's going to cost a couple of machines. Pizzas, a lot of machines, soup, a stove, avocado, much machines. What is the least, like the steak, easy. Just do a stove, right? Um, like just buy a stove. Uh, same with the chicken. You can have wine and, and a stove. And of course, a pan. Pastries, beverages. Where's our pastries at? Those machines, those machines, okay. Beverages, coffee machine, very good. Wine. Um... Okay, so there's a lot of different factors going on here. I think the next thing I want to bring in is probably steak. Yeah, steak. That wouldn't be a bad thing to add to the menu. We're just going to need to buy a stove. How much is a stove? Let's see. $100. Not bad. Yeah, so we'll save up for that, and we'll make that transition as well. Hey, it's your birthday! Happy birthday, Lisa! Oh my god! Happy birthday to you! Our birthdays are very close together, Lisa. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hope you're doing well. Very, very happy birthday. Very happy birthday. Hope your day is wonderful. I hope you have a wonderful birthday. I hope you have a peaceful birthday. I hope you have a fun, loving birthday. I just hope the best for you. Very, very good. Happy birthday, Lisa can't buy actual land no that's that's the like difficult part about this one is that 
you definitely cannot buy any extra land on this Route 66. Like, if we could expand out over here, oh, that'd be money, dude. Just can't. Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and kind of fix the wallpaper now. There we go. <laughs> got to spend, you know, you got to spend the money to, to, to get the wallpaper up. And then, like, this will go free. There we go. Uh, did I just accidentally paint that? No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay, there we go. Now, look at this. We have the queue coming back in. So with the queue coming back in, we might be looking at some high profits. I think cheap food is the way to go here. Cheap food could be the way to go. Cheap food is the way to go, but then our food gets slammed here. Maybe get in like eight, eight of those. And we'll start focusing more on another table, more tables upstairs in particular with the money that we're bringing into. No, not that high. You ever play Minecraft? Uh, casually. On my off time, I play Minecraft. We actually talked about Minecraft earlier in this stream, for sure. But, uh, yeah, in my, uh, in my free time, I play Minecraft sometimes. We actually talked about doing a community Minecraft server earlier in this stream, too. I haven't made that decision yet. I don't know if I'll do it yet. It does take a lot of commitment from me. It does take a lot of regulating from me. And it also costs money to earn servers. Uh, so it's another... It's an expense, right? What's your opinion on Tavern Master? Very good. Uh, I like Tavern Master. Tavern Master... It, Tavern Master is a very good, simplistic, easy game. Um, very fun. Very good game that you can have... Um, just waste time. Get achievements. Easy achievements you can get. It's a clean uh, plate shortage. That's a little bit of an issue. Um, easy game to get uh, achievements if you're an achievement buff. Um, very good game to uh, just simply just have, like, I don't know. It's very simple. It's very easy. That's why I put it on my game store. That's one game I added to my store list that I was able to put on my game store was Tavern Master because... Um, did I really not have a cutting board here this whole time? Um, because it is. It's a very simple, easy, simplistic game. And uh, with the new full release and the future updates that are going to be coming out very soon with that game... Uh, it's all good. It's like there's there's going to be even more better, gooder, better, bigger, and better stuff added to it. So very excited for that. But I like it a lot. I do. Can I move the door? I want to move the door out of the way now. Like I don't want the door there anymore. This move. And then the door, we want to put staff door. Maybe like... You know what? This is what we do. We go wall. We go here. How do I do this? I go here, here, kind of give that little bit of extra oomph into the kitchen here. Very tight dining area here, but that's all right. Route 66, old school, dude. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Keep it right. Keep it right. Keep it tight. You know what I mean? Okay. Get the hell out of the way. Okay. Pause, 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 pause. Okay. Staff there. Okay. Good, 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 good. Okay. Cool. All right. So we have this in the kitchen now. <laughs> um, I don't think I want it there. Move this maybe up against that. Um, there's a lot of chicken coming in, by the way. I need another refrigerator pro probably or just need to order so less. Let's go. Let's actually keep these cutting boards and cabinets by the deep fryers as much as we can. So this is a little bit of an issue already. You can see what's happening here. Running out of space over on this side. It's a very awkward kitchen. And that's designed by you. By, I say you, but me, forehead. Speaking in the third person there. Go cabinet. Let's add some more clean plates. It's adding a cutting board to this as well. Very good. And then I'll do some more adjustments in here as well. But I need a little bit more money. There we go. I'll add more adjustments in here. But one big thing is was uh, plates. Let's add more plates. Now, I'm going to need to take away plates uh, so that I can order pans for the steak when I do get the stove. Unless I already... Yeah, yeah. I'm going to need to do that. So I'm going to need to take away plates at some point or another. I think we could probably slow down the chicken intake here. Maybe back that down to four. Back down the potatoes in. Maybe to six. I think we've caught up. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe potatoes could stay. 
Uh, here in the dining room, though, we can fix the wallpaper. There we go. Awesome. It's very, very strange restaurant. Yeah, very strange restaurant. Okay. Let's continue. People waiting outside. It's good to see. Uh, no, I, I won't do any Minecraft on the on the channel. No. I I like doing Minecraft survival, but it, this channel doesn't it doesn't fit with Minecraft. If I were to ever in the future make a second channel or another channel, I probably would put Minecraft on that channel. Have I ever called the Have I ever played a game called Papers Please? No, I've never played a game called Papers Please. It doesn't ring a bell, I don't think. Not enough sinks. Look, you get what you get in this little bathroom. You know? That's all you get. <laughs> That's all you get. How are we doing up here? Review. Let's see here. Review. Review. This is a good restaurant. The decoration is good, but the menu could be improved. Look, we can improve the menu. Don't worry about the menu. I got to get a little bit more money. Papers, Please is a good game, really. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, I don't think I've ever heard of it. Hey, the rat just... What the heck was the rat doing upstairs? So we're going to add another table or two eventually here. Eventually. And we'll see how well that goes. This is a very, like... The layout to this restaurant is so strange. It is. It's very, very strange. It's a little hard, I will say. It's a little hard. Well, I mean, really, we could walk away and be like, oh, we complete on medium. But trying to get the, to the hard difficulty uh, tier here, it, it is hard. It is hard to try to make this profit up in this small little area here. But I'm just watching as the profits go through. Uh, probably should check on the kitchen as well to make sure that we're not overspending on product here we might be still overspending just a little bit here on product back down the potatoes just a little bit back down the chicken just a little bit maybe a three to four three to four we'll see how that functions one thing to look about too is uh customer standing in line uh so they obviously see what's going on here they see that there's more. Now we could increase the prices to tone down the queue, or we could leave the prices where they're at and uh, hope that we get even more customers and buy more seating up here, which is probably what we'll do. And in the meantime, we got to hire more people as well. So let's go here. Let's go table. Um, let's make this like a nice there, there, there section. And then, oh, you know what? Let's put a freaking flower as well. Give me the flower. Give me the flower. Give me the flower. Where's the flower? There we go. Very good. <clears throat> so there's even more seats available now. Now I think, yeah, I think we're going to need to hire somebody very, very soon. Server and a cleaner. Probably another server and cleaner. I think our cooks are fine. I don't think there's like two overwhelming factors going in, but I think a cook and a... You know what? You know what I should have added? A broom. I should have added another broom. Yeah. I think I'm going to get the other broom. I'm going to get the other broom. Maybe. I don't know if it cleans faster, but I think getting the other broom... I'm going to put the other broom up here. But, uh, yeah, this is probably not a bad idea. Because they got to go up and down for the broom, and only one person can use the broom. But I think there's only one person that is, uh... That is dedicated to cleaning. So I'm not too worried about it. Let's go broom. I'll we'll put that in the corner right here for now. There we go. So now there is a broom up here in case anybody needs that. There's a rat too. Should probably put down some rat traps as well just to see what happens. I think I'm going to hire one more person. Oh, we're in the debt now. We're in the, we're in the debt. How's our income and profits? Her income is good. Expenses not too high. Our income is good though. So our profits is... We're, we're making a profit. We're just spending a lot of uh, extra stuff here. So let's go higher. And then this... Who the heck is that? David? David, my man, you are going to be uh, serving and you will be 
cleaning, and that's all you're going to be doing. Serving and cleaning. Serving and cleaning. Paper Please is an older game. I think it came out in 2011. It should be a quite cheap on Steam. Not Tonight is a similar game and is also good. Let's see here. Let's see. Let me see here. Uh, oh, God. Let's see. Hang on a sec. Let me see. Give me a moment. I'm going to let the game run in the background here. Do you hear that helicopter? Just flew over the house. Oh, yeah. I've never seen this game before. Interesting. 2013. Interesting. Yeah, I've never seen that game before. Huh. Has very good reviews, it says. Ingredient shortage? Where are we at? Chicken. Chicken, chicken, chicken. We need chicken and potatoes. Increase that a little bit. Increase this to more. Maybe getting another storage. Maybe getting another refrigerator is not a bad idea, too. So let's see. Let's go. Um, let's go. Let, let, let's. Well, we don't have the money yet. We don't have the money quite yet. But once we do, I will add another storage and probably another refrigerator. And get that going on. Do you know if there has been any further updates on the Tenants game? Um, so I keep my eye on it very closely on the Tenants game. There hasn't been any really uh, major updates. There's been a couple of like hot fixes in the past couple of months really to fix bug issues, but nothing too major. Uh, the last major thing was cosmetics where there was a little bit more of furniture added to the game and then like you could change colors of the furniture, but nothing like groundbreaking. Like, I think the next time I'll go back to the Tenets, which I love. I love the Tenets. Tenets is a good game. Next time I go back to the Tenets is probably going to be when they do the Manhattan release, uh, which I don't know when they're going to do the Manhattan release, but Manhattan release should be a very good one. Uh, it's like, I think that's like close to when the full game releases because the Tenets is in early access. But uh, Manhattan, yeah, Manhattan. I'm very interested, interested to see how that uh, turns out. But yeah, I have my I have a close eye on that for sure. Because I do like that game a lot. Okay, so now we shouldn't have any rats coming in. We should be good on storage. We should be able to fill our fridges and shelves as much as we want. For the most part. Let's go. A little bit more chicken here. Maybe seven on each. Let's go seven on each. Since we're selling them at such a, a low price-ish, and there's a lot of people coming through, we gotta think about that. Like, look at that. Like, we don't have a dedicated server. Or, sorry. Like, people aren't cleaning these plates. Did I get these plates done, please? I was hoping server slash cleaning person would take care of the plates. Yeah, we take care of the plates and the service at the same time. And I think it does. And maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe I need to switch what's his face to do that. Let's go priorities. Because I only have one dedicated cleaner. Which is Robert. No, sorry. Which is William. Maybe I switch him to um, serving and cleaning. There we go. Maybe he'll be able to do both jobs now. So we have three servers, three cleaning, I think. Now we don't have enough sinks, I know. But we will one day. Like, why isn't this table being cleaned? You can change the color. How cool is that? What? You can change it to a black flower? Oh, that's so good. Oh, I love it. They're still not cleaning any of these tables up here. Why are they not doing this? Can they not get to this table? Is that why? Because this is a weird laid out table compared to what we had before. Oh, there he is. All right. They're just taking a long time. Okay. That was weird. I don't know why that took so damn long, but it did. How much money do we have? A hundred? Okay. I love watching the Tenet series, even the episode where Danielle was playing. I think it's made by Frozen District. Made by Frozen District who made House Flipper. I, I have House Flipper on the PS4 and I love it. Yeah. Um... I believe it's it's the publishers. I think it's the publishers. 
I don't know if it's the developers, but I think the publishers do. Um, I have to look into that more. Do the do house or do uh, the tenants and household, which by the way, I do probably plan here in a few weeks or so. I don't know, maybe towards the new year. Thinking about doing a live stream for House Flipper, experimenting with the luxury DLC, um, experimenting with all that kind of stuff. So I, I had plans for going to live stream maybe House Flipper. And I think House Flipper would be a game very fun to do on a live stream compared to a Let's Play series. So yeah, just watch out for that maybe in the future. House Flipper. Boom, boom, boom. I know a lot of people like House Flipper. And they said the luxury DLC is very good. Plus, they have two DLCs coming in the future. Being the pets DLC, which, oh my god, I want to have pets. And then the farm DLC. There's a farm DLC coming to House Flipper as well. A lot of people don't know that, but yeah, it is. How are we doing up here? I think right now, we're just sitting at capacity. Like, we just need to bring in more. Maybe up our prices even, too. What are we doing on food? Seven and seven? Like, maybe bring that down now to five? Bring that down to five? Should be good now. And then save up money to add more tables and then maybe adjust the prices. Maybe increase the prices. Things of that nature. Have more menu items, probably, as well. Not enough sinks. Like, look. We have enough sinks. We have no sinks, actually. You go to the... I just walked in on the lady. Somebody walked in on the lady while she was going to the bathroom. Four people running this restaurant. Is it worth it? Is it? It's going. Is it going well? Well, I don't know. Maybe. How are we doing here? We still haven't made a profit in a month of 800 or anywhere close to 800. Okay. Tone it down a little bit on the food again. Bring it back down. There you go. Hygiene good. Waiting time. Bladder. Decor. Price. Menu variety. So I think one thing that we could add to this... Uh, restaurant is probably decor if we start making people happy about what the heck they're looking into or like the decor of this place they might be uh, willing to pay a little bit more money maybe or have a little bit of happiness so let's start focusing a little bit on decor here can i put like something outside <gasps> you can put a chalkboard outside a sandwich board how cool is that dude that is so cool i would love to have like a little coffee bar too like there's our specials a fish tank that's cool. Like, what if I had some plants out here? Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's good. Still the rat trap. Slot machine and claw machine still tickle my fancy, though. I will say. Like, what if I had, like, a coffee bar upstairs? Or, like, a wine bar? Like, a legitimate wine bar? Like, right here. Just build a bar. Oh, that'd be so good. I think I might build a bar up here. I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to build a bar up here. Ah, that'd be so good. Now, I just need to... I, I just need to buy... I think I need to buy wine, obviously, right? I need to buy wine so that we can have that on the menu, right? Let's see here. Let's go to menu. And if I were just... I just wanted wine. What do I need? I need wine and glasses. That's it. Well, we could have been buying wine this whole time. I don't necessarily need a bar. But since it kind of fits, I would like to have a bar for the wine. The only version on the PS4 is House Flipper and Garden Flipper. I hope they release the other DLC on console. However, it takes a longer for DLCs to be added to console as they need to be. Certified by Sony, Microsoft, or Nintendo. Yeah, any DLC, and that even goes for like... Oh, that even goes for updates. Any updates you have in games, that all needs to go uh, that all needs to be certified first. So like any like battle royale games, any uh, and just any update in general, it needs to be certified through any of those companies of the rightful companies before it goes launches on their platform, which is a little bit of a shame. Plus, I don't know the logistics behind the PC and then the console porting over or the PC porting over to console. If that makes it a little bit more difficult, you know, for the DLCs, I'm not sure. I think you could put better tables over the old ones without selling them. Oh, can you? Oh. So would this be like a $50? Since this table is $100 before, is it $50? 
He goes, oh, $61. Oh, Norman. Hey. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. And table or chairs. We can do that with chairs, too. Oh, very good. Oh, very good. Even though I love the tables, they, they kind of fit the dine, the diner type theme, but ambience for ambience reasons, this is what we're going to do. Oh, very good. Oh, very good. Oh, I love it. Right, that all looks, I mean, the chairs probably need to go. The chairs don't fit, <laughs> fit the style anymore, but we just need a little bit more money. I do want to build a bar up here. I think that'd be really cool. Have more cabinets and things of that nature so that we have more dishes and things like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe hire a bartender. That'd be neat. We went into the negatives. Are you kidding me? Does this place deserve a bathroom up here? Maybe. Maybe. Menu could be improved. Don't worry, sweetheart. I'm bringing the steak. I'm bringing the wine. You just got to give me a moment. Decor up here could be a thing too as well. Again, I don't know if it costs money to add windows. I really don't know. I don't think it does. Did that cost money? No. Okay. So it doesn't cost money. There we go. Yeah. I like that. Let's just do some windows up here. Just to give it a little bit more life. Right? Just a little bit more uh, character, especially on the outside. I mean, the windows don't make sense because they don't match at all, but... <laughs> like this... <laughs> this window is strictly for the people in the bathroom. <sighs> so I'm going to start slowly building out this bar because I think it would be very good for us. And it's just fun. I'm just having a good time. I am. I'm liking this game a lot. Bar counter, there's two different... Oh, it's like a brick and a wood. Yeah, I like the wood. Let's go like uh, all the way over. $80. Okay. So that's our first layout of the bar. And then we'll add stuff in the back there. And then we'll obviously put the chairs and things like that. Bar stools. Oh, I love it. Now, I wonder if I put these stools down. This is considered seating, so people will just randomly come here and order fries anyways. <laughs> there we go. Ingredient shortage? That's not good. Bring that back up. Whoops. There we go. Wait for the 40s to come through. I just realized that we don't ever close... <laughs> there we go. Okay, now we have four bar stools. That's going to be great. Are you able to put a third floor? If so, it would be cool to put the kitchen on the second floor and have the first and third have tables. That'd be really cool, kind of like in between. But uh, no, uh, this is the highest I can go, at least for here. I don't know if that's in for all the game or all the scenarios, but at least for here, you can only do a two-story um, two floor here. Okay, so he actually ordered chicken, and he's sitting at the bar. Okay, very good. Ingredient shortage. Come on now. Come on. Get it in. Get it in. This is probably one of the trickiest things to do in this game. It's 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 to uh, make sure that you have enough, uh, I guess, food, ingredients, and things like that. So these people are ordering from the from the the kitchen, which is good. I don't I don't mind. I really don't mind if they do or not. It just means more people in my restaurant. Now, how is our weight, though? Our weight line? There's no weight line? Good. But it looks like we might have a full capacity kind of uh, kitchen here. Now, this is a little bit of an issue here. Uh, not having these tables clean, but I guess that will figure itself out. It'd be kind of cool if you could, like, prioritize the staff, whether being if they work on the first floor or the second floor. Like, oh, I just want you to work on the second floor. Or, oh, I just want you to work on the first floor type thing, right? Still with an ingredient shortage. I think we're just kind of waiting to catch up on that. Like, what are we... We're doing good on the potatoes. It's more or less the chicken is what, what's happening here. So maybe back it down on the potatoes a little bit. Yeah, I think it's just the chicken we're doing a little bit of a shortage on. All right, so now that we are getting some more money, let's do... I would like to have a storage here. 
Because this is where the wine is going to go. Yeah, the wine is going to go here. Yeah, we're going to put the wine here. We're going to put a cabinet here. It's kind of weird how it's clipping through there. Put a cabinet there. And then maybe in the future put a coffee machine here. So that we can serve them wine and coffee up here. It'll be interesting because then what if people downstairs order wine and coffee too, right? Uh, yeah. So the reason why we put a cabinet here is so that we can order more dishes and silverware. So like for inventory, we have 21 plates, zero wine cups, zero coffee cups, zero bowls. We're going to go ahead and order or bring in some uh, wine glasses now. Max it out to seven. And then we're going to start thinking about ordering some wine. And we're going to be selling some wine, baby. Let's do on repeat five wine. And then let's go ahead and eventually when we get that in, we'll add it to the menu. <clears throat> Shreet. Hiya. How's it going? How are you? I'm doing well. Cute restaurant. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> uh, I'm doing good. How are you? Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Good to see you again. Okay, let's see here. That guy just dropped off chicken. Uh, did he drop off the wine too? No, he did not drop off the wine too. Okay. Clean plate shortage. Interesting. Was not expecting that. We're going to need another dishwasher. We will need another dishwasher. Which is okay, because we can actually... Whoops, we can actually do that right here. When we can afford it, I'll buy another dishwasher and put it right there. How's this game so far? I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it a lot. It's a very easy, fun game. Um, not easy. Well, I'm trying to do, like, the hard difficulty right now on my task. But um, it's a very simplistic game. And for $10, 10 USD dollars... It's almost an easy buy at this point. Very easy buy. Um, I'm enjoying it a lot. It's not as chaotic as uh, Recipe for Disaster, which is okay. It's okay. But, you know, Recipe for Disaster, it's insane. Chaotic, right? So I'm really enjoying it in that regards. So, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun over here for sure. Now, we have wine officially in our restaurant. So let's go ahead and add the wine to our menu now. So now that we have wine, right, where is it at? Is it downstairs? Where's the wine? Ah, oh, there's the wine bottles. Oh, that's so good. So we officially have the wine. It'd be cool if you could like... Oh, you can! Nice. Okay, so let's take off wine for priority. And let's just stick with that. So upstairs... Upstairs will be a wine-only shelving. We have nothing but wine and maybe coffee in the future. So we just want our wine to go up here. Very good. Very, very good. Uh, a dishwasher wouldn't be a bad idea to have upstairs and downstairs. I don't know which one to do more. Don't know which, which one to do more, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Clean it up. We might have to hire more people, too. Oh, look at that. She ordered a glass of wine. She's happy. Oh, she's good. Oh, so good. Decorations up here at the bar. Probably that guy ordered a glass of wine, too. Oh, she finished it. Oh, so good. How did she like it? Menu variety. Menu variety went up. Very good. Her prices is like, eh. Her decor is, eh. But the menu variety has gone up. Very good. Wait a sec. Can I actually see, um, last month balances total? Okay, okay. So let's add some more. Let's, let's focus on a dishwasher. And then let's focus on, um, hiring. And let's focus on, uh, decorations as well. Because, like, I think what's happening here is, like, we just don't have enough. There's a long queue not only forming for our restaurant... But there's a long queue forming for our plates as well. So we don't have enough dishwashers. Uh, we don't have enough dishwashing people. Uh, so I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to add a dishwasher once we have enough money. How much money is a dishwasher? 100 bucks. So 100 bucks, and we'll add a dishwasher. I think it won't be a bad idea to have a dishwasher up here, upstairs, since now we have the bar. So we'll definitely do that. And then when it comes to dishwashing, we only have one person on the dishwasher. So let's not do that. Let's start... Uh, diving in here we'll do um we'll do william uh, we'll actually dishwashing serving i'm gonna hire another guy i'm gonna hire another guy and this guy's gonna be richard richard he'll do dishwashing cleaning and that's all he'll do dishwashing and cleaning there we go. 
Now this should fix up our queuing issues downstairs, our line issues. Uh, we should be able to clean up these tables, get this in, get the, di yep, using the dishwasher. There you go. You can see it for yourself. Very good. Yeah. Okay. So there, that was our problem there. We just didn't have enough dishwashing going on. Clean glass, wine, clean wine glass shortage. Don't worry about that. We're just kind of catching up on our dirty dishes. Cool. Now we could back it down a little bit. We could back it down a little bit for sure on the clean plates and bring in more wine glasses. Ingredient shortage. Oh, I think it's of wine. Yeah, I think the wine is an ingredient shortage here now. The people love the wine, dude. The people love the wine. Let's bring that into seven. And then, um, you know, for the bar, honestly, let's, let's, let's do it again. Well, I talked about putting a coffee machine up here. I did, I did talk about that, but you know what? I think it's okay. I think we go another cabinet. Another cabinet gives us more dishes to buy and we'll go ahead and, uh, buy more glasses. Maybe max that out for now, and then we'll fix that later on. Okay. There we go. Cool. Now we shouldn't have an ingredient on shortages when it comes to wine. We shouldn't have a glass shortages uh, when it comes to wine. We do have a long queue queuing up outside. How's the downstairs looking? I think we need to add a little bit more tables now. I think everything's going well. Yeah, I think adding more tables. I think we're like, we're like almost there at the freaking boom. We're about to explode here, I think, in a sec. Explode in popularity and money, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Because our demand is starting to go up. How's our actual decor and happiness? Menu variety is up, so people are happy. Hygiene is, is, is skyrocketing, so them complaining about a sink is irrelevant. Price, I can make it better. I can make the price better. But um, I need a little bit more tables in here. I do want to replace the chairs, too, eventually. Now, can I actually move this? If I move the broom over here, will it block the cabinet? Or does it not matter? Maybe if I had a cutting board on the cabinet, it would matter. But since I don't, it maybe it doesn't matter. Okay, we'll wait. And then we'll bring in the new uh, new tables and, and have more people sit down and, you know, all that. I mean, we could adjust the prices, you know, we could make it more more expensive. More, more money, right? We could. But if we do that, well, you know what? We might... That guy looks like George Costanza. <laughs> that guy looks like George Costanza. <clears throat> I just looked up at the game store page on Steam. Why is it a rat carrying a whole crate of food if you have it on the floor? Wow, that rat is huge. I know. We talked about... Uh, like, that happened to us at the beginning of the stream. It really surprised me. A rat carrying a giant crate of food. It was crazy. But it was awesome. It was so funny. It caught me off guard. I was not expecting it. <laughs> it was very good. Yeah. Giant rats, if you have food on the ground, they will take your stuff. They will take your stuff. It was so, so funny. So it looks like the wine, I mean, the wine is selling out pretty good. Michael's complaining about high workload. Very interesting, Michael. What are you doing? You're serving and dishwashing. Very interesting. Um, so what if we put the servers on cleaning and dishwashing? They do like three jobs kind of do that we'll see how that workload goes okay we're just we're just sitting here trying to farm up some money so i can put down some more tables i mean even having another dishwasher is not bad too michael is still complaining about workload michael my man hey i did up 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 <laughs> i did up your your workload there i'm sorry my man there we go Okay, so since this long queue is forming, this is exactly what I want. I don't want to. I don't want to increase the prices. I do want to add these people to my restaurant. So we're gonna go 150 there, and then like 40, 80, just to put asses in chairs. We're just gonna go cheap real quick and do that, and then I'll upgrade. I'll upgrade those later. So there we go. We'll get more people up here. Yep, fantastic, great. John is complaining about a high workload now. Okay, so it seems like we're going to need to get uh, another, yeah, another, uh, another cook. I'm fine with that, having another cook in the kitchen. Let's hire another guy. So there we go. This is going to be Charles, and Charles will strictly do just cooking as well. 
He'll do just cooking. And maybe dishwashing on the side. Eh, actually, no. He's going to do straight cooking. That's it. So now we have two cooks. Two dedicated cooks. Now that queue is not so long now, is it? Huh? <laughs> Still can't keep up with the amount of demand for our wine. And I dig it. So actually what I'm going to do, I'm not going to bring in more wine. Instead, I'm going to go to my menu and I'm going to increase just the wine prices. There we go. And anybody hi or anyone hiring wine, anyone buying wine, they're going to have to pay a little bit of a premium for sure. For sure. How are we doing? Ah, look at the profit now go up. Now we're starting to make some serious money. Now, if I can get a full restaurant and then gouge the prices, oh, we're going to be able to get this easy scenario or this hard scenario star done and completed. For sure, for sure. I'm enjoying this game way more than I thought I would, honestly. Like, I know people were telling me to try this game out. And I know people were telling me that this game was pretty good. But, man, it's, it's like, really good. I'm like, like, for the price, I'm enjoying myself. This is pretty cool. Good job on... I don't know who the developers were. Developers were. I need another dishwasher? Oh, yeah. Probably not. It's probably right. Yeah, because look at all the tables being dirty, huh? Now, the sudden influx of people coming through now, like the not-so-popularity people, are, is it's starting to look weird. Maybe because we have we had the cheapest wine in town, and they're like, oh, yeah, we're all going there for the cheap wine. Now that, now that I've increased the price of wine, they're like, oh, I don't want to go there anymore. <laughs> Still want to bring in more tables. I absolutely do. I wish, I wish though in this game you could do what the, um, oh dude, look at that. You can do camera angles. I wish though that you could do, um, like duplicate tables like you can in Recipe for Disaster. Oh, <gasps> the rat's here. Wait a sec, the rat's here. That means something's going on in the kitchen. Too much chicken. Okay. Hey, too much chicken. Guys, we're ordering too much. Back it down a little bit. Back it down in the in the in the in the chicken. Back it down in the fry department, please. Thank you. Now I think I'm gonna add another dishwasher right here. Yeah, I think this is where I'm gonna put it. Dishwasher. There we go. He just threw chicken and wine on the ground. <laughs> Come on, man. Maybe not. Maybe I need to like go back on my price for the wine. Let's bring that back down. Let's do thirteen. Go back down. Maybe they'll start buying some wine now. Okay, cleaning is starting to become a little bit of an issue too. Money is starting to roll in like a son of a gun. We might be on the very edge here, a very close, very closely finishing off hard, hard uh, mode on this level. Now I'm not worried about sinks because look, um, hygiene is good. So price is at a, uh, at, a, at a face, right? So I think I'm going to make a drastic move here. Once I get enough money, I'm going to make a drastic move where um, we're going to go table. We're going to go table. Ooh, how am I going to work this out here? I think I could squeeze that in, you think? Let's see here. I'm going to go table. I don't know if that will work. Will that work? Will they be able to get in there? Maybe. I think so. I think that works. It doesn't seem like the AI pathing is has too much issues. So I'm going to go another table. Maybe one more in the middle here. And then I'm going to send it here. This is going to be a full send. Ready? We're going to do cheap wine. Cheap nuggets. Cheap fries. And we're going to jam pack this freaking restaurant. Cleaning is already becoming an issue. Uh, I think we need to have more brooms as well. We need to have more brooms to help clean. So I would like to get a vacuum, but I don't even know if that does anything faster. Let's just, just get a regular broom in real quick. Kidnapper achievement unlock? What the heck? Oh, <laughs> so there is a little bit of pathing issue. Uh, I'm so sorry. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no, she's gonna leave. Oh, that's fine. I, I broke her. Whoops. 
So then we're going to go, yeah, like I said, we're going to go uh, broom and put the broom like right here. Guests are stuck. Yeah, my bad. You should try Timberborn so we can see it. I've tried Timberborn on the channel. Yeah, I played Timberborn on the channel. Didn't do well on the channel. Uh, but we've we've played a few episodes of Timberborn. Clean plate shortage. That's interesting. Like I don't like just leave, lady. <gasps> she crapped on the floor. I think I don't think I can move her. I have to wait until this person leaves. She just crapped on the floor, dude. Michael's complained about a high workload. Oh my god, it's all falling apart now. Okay, Michael serving and dishwashing. You know what? Maybe don't dishwash. Maybe on a moderate case here. But we gotta wait till this lady's done eating so that we can get her out of here. Oh my god. I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, lady. I'm so sorry. Okay. Uh, move. There you go. Okay, let's like focus on this, folks. I think it's very, very dirty. We're going to need more uh, people here. You can see now the uh, the popularity has gone up now that we've brought in this incredible amount of, or incredible prices, right? That was the idea. That was the whole point of it. Kind of bum rushing us with a bunch of people. Unfortunately, I got someone stuck, but that's all right. Uh, which means more, more, uh, more food being served, more dishwashing, more workloads, things of that nature, more people, more people, more people, right? But I don't, I want this kind of, uh, I want that undone there. Now, Michael, 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 my man, Michael. Serving is all you need to do. Let's just do that. Serving is all you need to do. I'm going to hire another guy to clean as well. But I just need this clean before I kind of adjust what's going on here. Or to address what's going on here as well. William is now talking about a high workload. William. So Michael and William. Oh, William is cleaning. Yeah, okay. We're, we're just going to hire another guy. Let's go hire. Boom. And then this guy, Joseph. My man, Joseph. Look, you're going to be strictly just cleaning. Nothing else. That's it. Just cleaning. And we'll give you a broom as well somewhere. Right there, right? Yeah, we gave you two brooms. Okay, yeah. Very good. Strictly cleaning. Oh, okay. So the vacuum is much faster. Okay. Okay, cool. Then I'll have to replace my brooms with the with the vacuum. Good to know. Good to know. And now this long queue is exactly what I wanted. I wanted a lot of people in here, but I can't really do anything with more tables because of this issue here. I'm just waiting for this to get cleaned up. I think they can go there. They should because the person got out. So once this is cleaned up, I wish you could prioritize this. Um, I'll then make a move here with the tables and get this all addressed. There. Oh, David was so close. <laughs> Come on. It's all right. Get this clean. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So now let's... Well, I can't do anything either because the plates are on it now. Good God. Need more uh, dishwashers probably. But our place is starting to become clean. Back to clean again, which is exactly what I wanted. You know what? Let's just, let's just kind of like... Let's let's just look into this a little bit more. Let's let's calm down everything. I'm surprised we don't have a food shortage right now, but let's calm down everything. And let's say, you know what? We're going to bump up the price here. We're going to go $20 on that, uh, back to 25 on that. So we can get that extra profit, slow down our um, our intake of customers for right now, and that will be that. We'll slow down our intake so that we can catch up with ourselves. William is complaining about a workload, but not for very much longer. Because we are going to be slowing down here with the amount of people. See how that, now that the prices are in, they're like, whoa, we don't want to eat here. And then we'll have our employees kind of catch up. But we, hey, we're going to be cashing out some big money here. That's for sure. Ingredient shortage. Not really too worried about that. I think it will kind of catch up on itself now that there's less people. Just need to get these dishes done. I mean, another dishwasher, absolutely. But like, maybe we hire some, like a bus boy, like a dedicated bus boy as well. Yeah. I don't think we have a dedicated bus boy either. I don't have flowers on these tables either. Do I have a de dedicated bus boy? I don't. Not a bad idea to have that. David. What are you doing, David? 
Oh yeah, you're 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 you have the right to be upset. <laughs> We're gonna take you off dishwashing, and I'm gonna hire a dedicated uh, bus boy. So this is gonna be who is this? Thomas. Thomas, my man, you're gonna be doing strictly dishwashing. That's all you're gonna do. That's the only thing you do. There we go. Okay, so this has been done. Um, I guess I can go here. I can technically make this a one-seater, I guess. I mean, it is what it is, right? But I want to get a, um, a table right here in the middle, though, if I can. Maybe another table right here. If I did this, I think this will work. Yeah. So if we went here, we did this. It's very close for comfort. They're going to get real... Um, <laughs> they're going to get real chummy with each other. But I think it should work. If I went like that. I think that should technically work. Yeah, our, our guys just walked over here. Michael and Robert. What are you guys doing standing around? Michael and Robert. What do you guys do? Serving? That's all you do in serving. So two dedicated servers that are just walking around. Okay, so I think we're, we're kind of good. So let's go downstairs. Let's see what it is downstairs. It might be a disaster down here. That's no, not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. We have a lot of money. We have a lot, a lot of money. Um, I would like to replace our vacuums. But I think instead... Oh, dude, I forgot about the freaking slot machines. And the claw machines. You know what? This is a pointless table. I don't need one person here. Instead, I need a slot machine. Let's go. <laughs> and then we can like throw a claw machine right behind it. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what happens here. I don't know if you make a profit off of these or not. Okay, I see. Uh, these uh, these guys are actually uh, stuck. There we go. Are you good? Can you go through here? There you go. There you go. Okay. There we go. Fig we, we, we got it. We got the path thing. Oh, dude, they are gambling. Do we get money for this? For them gambling? And Oh, we do. We get money for them using the arcade machine. We do get money for them using the slot machine as well. Awesome. Okay, so now let's go ahead and adjust our prices back again. Let's go back to 12. Let's make this an appealing uh, place again. Very cheap stuff. Here we go. And let's send it. Let's see what happens. Can we make that 800 profit in a month? Well, we're about to find out. We are definitely about to find out. I love the arcade in the in the slot machine thing. That's pretty cool. I dig it. <laughs> Where are we almost out of? Potatoes? Let's get that intake in. Five on the potatoes. Our wine is doing great. Okay, so now it's gonna get we're gonna get hit pretty hard here. We're gonna get hit very hard. Now everybody and their mother is coming through. They're like, hey, they have a, the early bird special. Here we go, right? Yep, here we go. Now we just need to keep up with demand. That's going to be a little bit tough. Not enough for the fryers to keep up with the demand. <laughs> like I just said, we got to keep up with the demand. Apparently that's not, that's, not, that's not happening here. Okay. So how will we work around this? Well, it's going to be very tough on how the situation we have this laid out in. It's going to be very, very tough. The ingredient shortage is because of the potatoes, 100%. Now, this, I do not want to have the wine there. So, don't put the wine down there, please. The wine only goes upstairs. Okay. Um, yeah, look at the people now outside. Yeah, they love it. They absolutely love it. They dig it. Hey, subscriber. Hey. Mgons. Thank you for the subscription. Appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, so a long line is forming. That's fine. Deep fryer. Let's get that in. Where would I put a deep fryer? In this awkward kitchen. Now, I could kind of put it right here. It is very weird and strange. Don't get me wrong. Actually, I could maybe put it right there next to the dishwasher, kind of covering the storage there. I think that's okay. I think that still technically works. Does that work as a storage? I don't know if that will block it or not. I'm going to keep my eye on that. Not entirely sure there. I gotta wait for the delivery guy to come through. Come on, delivery guy. Come on, man. We gotta keep up with demand even more here. Uh, we gotta bring in like seven. 
Seven. Seven of everything. Seven of everything. Please. Please. Come on. Where's the delivery guy? There he is. Will that work? Okay, I wasn't sure. <laughs> I wasn't sure if that was able to work or not. I say it might work because uh, this, like, one, one thing here is blocked by this, but I think this should work. It should work. Again, another shortage on our potatoes. Nothing to worry about. We're just catching up to the demand. Maybe to nine. We're not, we don't have a really big demand on chicken. We can keep up with that. It's just the potatoes, the fries. God, look at these guys going in and out, in and out, in and out. What is that guy's urgency here? Oh, the toilet has urgency. Okay. Still couldn't keep up with the potatoes here. That's all right. It was nothing, dude. That guy brought in nothing almost. Unless he can't put anything in there. Um, which definitely could be the tr could be the, the thing. But if it was an, an, uh, an issue, then he would be putting potatoes maybe on the ground. Because we don't have potatoes being served up here. We just have strictly wine being served up here. Look at the money rolling in, though. Still with the potatoes. That's all right. Keep our eye on it here. I think it comes every once a month. Is that what it is? Or every two weeks? I think it's every two weeks. Every two weeks. Bring our intake here. Now, this is probably like a very untraditional way to play this game. But we're doing it, man. I'm doing it right now. Very, very untraditional way. Let's bring back. Let's bring down the uh, intake of wine. Still watching the 588 here. 585. So good. Okay, watching the chicken and potatoes. They are now at a split even here. There's our delivery guy coming in. Perfect timing. Perfect. Okay, again, the wine is a little bit out of control. But I'm going to leave it how it is. I could put like very cheap wine and they could be they could get very excited about it but look at our money right now look at our money i'm gonna leave it here i'm not gonna spend any money i'm gonna see if i can get this 800 in one month here i'm not gonna be able to it's october 31st so i'm kind of like i'm about 200 dollars short i'm about 200 dollars short and my expenses are coming in in a different time You should extend the uh, the the restaurant to add another toilet. I would extend like the layout if I could, but you, you just can't. But the only way that I would be able to um, add another restroom is if I did it up here, probably, right? Add somewhere up here. But like the layout of the entire uh, restaurant, you can't like build another wall. It's just part of the scenario that we're playing. We're playing on this level, so like if I wanted to, I could buy land in other places, but this one I just can't. I'm kind of stuck to the default constraints here, which is a little bit of a shame, but I'm going to sit here for another month and kind of see where we stand here uh, money-wise. If I can bring in this 800 now it might be an overdue on um, expensive expenses to uh, product. It could be an overdue on expenses to um, employees. I, again, I might not be even charging enough on my prices, which is very, very certain that I'm not. I can increase the prices, but I am keeping an eye on this right here. By the way, hello, Mookie. How are you doing? Good to see you. Mookie. Love the name Mookie. One of my favorite baseball players is named Mookie. Mookie Betts, to be exact. Good to see you. <laughs> okay, so there we go. There's the form of the line, the line of the forming of the forming of the line. Very, very long here. Um, if I don't make my 800 on this month, with that, which I don't see, I, I don't think I will, I'm going to increase the prices across the menu. And we'll see how that goes. Not too much, maybe incremental. But look how much money we have. $1,600. $436. About a week left in the month. Will we be able to hit it here? Ooh. So close. So close. Look at this. November 27th, November 28th, 
Everybody's complaining about the workload, but let's be fair. This is just because they had a long or a big queue outside. Okay, one month. 130. We are that close from completing it. Good to hear you're doing well there, Mookie. Doing well, doing well. I'm doing well as well. Well as well. Good to know that you're doing good. Good to see you. So, I'm going to... In I'm gonna choose to increase the price by one dollar one dollar across the board on wine nuggets and uh, fries and I think this should end it now if we don't do anything I think this might end in uh, the scenario here we'll see depending on the workload of everybody if they're gonna complain about high workload I don't know if they'll quit on us but we'll have to see. If they do, that's cheaper for us. We don't have to pay them. <laughs> but we'll see here. So one dollar on each item. And maybe taking this off repeat. Taking this off repeat, not spending the money here. I think then we can complete it. Ingredient shortage on what? On wine? Oh, on wine. Maybe if we were to bring in, like, wine. Maybe that's the only thing we'll bring in. Like, wine. Seven bottles of wine. And we'll do that. But the potatoes? Out of control. Chicken? Eh. But the wine, we're out of. Where are we at? December 15th, halfway through. $800. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. Back to the wine. Don't worry. The wine will come in. $2,000. This is where we start to make a profit here. Still have a lot of volume in our customers. Take a look upstairs. Still got a lot of volume. 600 to go with about a week left. I don't know if we'll be able to do it here. I think we still might be pennies away. Which makes me think we need more people. We need more bodies in the restaurant. Okay, so now, and plus we got to stop with the uh, in, in the uh, the shortage here on the wine. Let's just let's just be real there. We got to stop on that because then they can't order the wine. The chicken's gonna be the same way here. The chicken's gonna we're gonna need some chicken as well. So that plan didn't work out there with the whole shutting it down and seeing if we can save that extra dollar. That's all right. We tried it. Our potatoes, though, are fine. <laughs> okay, December 29th. December 30th. December 31st. So 200. So we lost about $20. And I think that has to do with we didn't have enough wine. We stopped selling wine multiple times during the month. That's okay. Um, <clears throat> so let's go up here and let's see here. Let's see what we have going on here. So if we were to look into our tabs, because now we have a lot of money. If we were to look into our tabs, the decor is, is somewhat happy. Waiting time is not so good. Bladder is ish. Menu variety is good. If we were to add something like we have enough money to now add a new thing to the menu. Yes, we do. The problem is, is that we don't got enough room in this place to add stuff to the menu. Now, I could take a table out. If I take a table out or... You know what? This is what I'll do. This chair. Can I click on this chair right here? Get rid of that. We'll go wall. Go over. Over one. And we'll take this out. We'll go staff door right here. This little hey, subscriber. Hey, Mookie. Thank you for the subscription. Mookie, Mookie. Like I said, one of my favorite baseball players. Love it. Um, this little room right here, just this little tiny bit helps out so much. So we're going to push this back. We're going to go dishwasher. We're going to go deep fryer, kind of in the middle. It's going to get a little bit awkward here. But, well, actually, we don't need to do that. We can push this back a little bit. 
We're going to add something to the menu here. Go deep fryer right there, I guess. And then we'll go... Where do we put this son of a gun? We can put it... Oh, God. Oh, we can put it right there, I guess. We'll put this right here. The mop outside. And then in here, I would like to put a stove. A stove. Like, dead center. Into the kitchen. Weird as hell, maybe. But there we go. We have a stove. Now, with the stove, we're going to need to worry about our plates. So, where do we stand here with plates? Well, let's bring this back down a bit, I think, right? I would like to add... How do we get rid of... Let's see. How do we get rid of plates? Is there a way to get rid of tableware? Can I get rid of plates? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if there's a way to get rid of plates. Maybe there isn't, unless we get rid of the entire kitchen cabinet. If that's the case, then let's see here. Let's get rid of the entire kitchen cabinet. And let's add a new kitchen cabinet. And then let's go ahead and do no cutting board on there. And we will do this. And we'll go dishware. Because we need pans, I believe, right? Let me look at the menu here. If we wanted to do a steak, we need, yeah, we need a pan. We need a couple of pans. So that's what we're kind of aiming for. We're aiming for steak. Have some steak, some wine, some good things like that. Good vibes. Let's go uh, here. Pan. I don't even know how much pans to bring. Maybe frick. Five? Five pans? And then fill the rest with plates? Okay, we'll do five pans. Hopefully that's enough. We have the stove there. Let's bring in the meat. Yep, bring in the meat. Make it a seven. Add that through. You only need one pan? Okay. F me. Only need one pan. All right, so let's go back here. Let's go there. And go there. Go to plates. One pan. I'm sorry, what? That just wasted so much money. Okay. Try again. Oh, that's because of this. I see. My bad. One pan, the rest plates. There we go. Okay, got it. Okay. Um. Now let's focus in on the steak. So we need the steak. We need the pan. We already got the equipment that we need. Now, when we do get it in, we're going to have it for $22. So that's a variety steak. And I did talk about having a coffee machine, but there's just not enough room in this freaking restaurant to get into any of this okay so yeah so i think the fridge is then going to become an issue one of them is going to be steak the other is going to be chicken that's just what we're going to need to do one be steak one be chicken and we'll wait for the ingredients to come through once the ingredients do come through i will then change our menu should wait for the guy. There's the guy. He's about to deliver right now. Okay. Did he deliver the steak? I don't even know if he delivered the steak. I don't even think he did. I don't think he was on this route. <laughs> no, he wasn't even on this route. Okay. Right. Uh, what did we lose ingredients-wise? Oh, wait. We do have steak. We do have steak. There we go. Okay. Add to the menu. Now this will loosen up a little bit of variety. Or add a little bit of variety, I should say. To our menu. Wallpaper in here is quite terrible. Let's be fair here. There we go. Okay. Now, one thing I would like to do as well is I would like to kind of spend the extra money on buying a vacuum. And getting rid of that. Okay, item in use. Okay, we gotta wait till that item. Okay, there we go. And then replace that with the vacuum. There we go. I would like to do that here, and I would like to do it upstairs, too. So now that we have a vacuum, things should be get cleaner, or should get cleaner a lot faster. Okay, ingredient shortage. What is actually down? So the, 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 the wine here. The wine. That's fine. There we go. Okay. Now let's let it roll. Let's let it roll. Whew. All right. Now that we have steak, we have wine. Is there anything that we can actually do with the wine. I think there's other ingredients that we can have with the wine. 
think it was like, is it like a dessert or something? Oh no, it was a chicken. We can add chicken, like a full on chicken breast to the menu because of the wine. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to do that and add that now. So now we have chicken and steak on the menu. Not enough stoves to keep up with the demand. That makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Um, do I get rid of the deep fryer now and then replace it with a stove? Sure, let's try it. Let's try it. Why not? Let's try it. Let's give it a shot here. We'll go stove. We're going to need to get another plate, however. Which we got to figure out how to do now. Uh, I would like to get like a plate down, please. Oh, we can add it. One more. Okay, good. Just add that to the delivery. So now we'll have two stoves going. We have one for the chicken, one for the steak. And this makes sense to get rid of the deep fryer, really. Uh, because we had three and we were only serving fries with the deep fryer, right? It's, it, it didn't. We didn't need to have that many. Same with these cutting boards. Like, we don't need to have that many. We have more stove items now than we do deep fried items. So there we go. That should go ahead and keep up with that. And then here we will add our free wallpaper. So we can fix that. Not enough stoves. Don't worry. We'll, we'll, we're keeping up with it. We're keeping up with it. Just give it a moment. Okay, now profit. Oh my god, look at the meat. <laughs> oh, the fridges, man. The fridges are not keeping up now. Now we could get rid of the dry dry rack, which we probably will, and replace that with the fridges. Now that the fridges are going to become a very important aspect of the kitchen now, not a bad idea to have. So we'll go here, we'll go uh, meat only, and then we'll go uh, chicken only. There we go. Now, th like, the big meat is about to become a big part of this uh, menu. Or the stove meat. Okay, so it's February 1st. Let's see if this is the month. Let's see if this is the month we get um, this profit in now. Maybe, maybe not. Let's fast forward it. Now, there's, is it a sh it's a short month. It's February. So let's, let's go straight forward here. Go even faster. We'll see what happens. That's a, that's a lot of meat on the ground. Like, I do feel bad. Now, will I count this month month because it's a short month? I don't know. Maybe. Possibly. You could. I guess you could. Storage racks are full. Of what? Of wine now? Now that the wine's going crazy? Bring that down. Seven. A lot of steak. Very interesting to see. A lot of steak. Uh, maybe we need to lower that a little bit. 20. A lot of steak not being sold here. One thing that we don't have is now potatoes. Make sure we get that going on too. Maybe just a few potatoes. Okay, we have a lot of food. It's a lot of food that we have. So now let's kind of like back this down a little bit. Back this down maybe to four. Back this down maybe to four. Back this down to maybe to four. Back this down maybe to four. Four on everything now. We'll see how fast we can get through this food here. Look at our money, though. It is coming through. It is a short month. 28th. Should be the end there. Okay. Now, let's see. On March 31st. Let's see how far we can go. I feel like we're just not... We don't have enough patrons is all. I think that I think just not having enough people or enough seats to, to house people is, is one of the issues here, too. Like, let's be fair here. The bar takes up a lot of space it does take up a lot of space this could be added for like a definitely definitely a lot more people here for sure and maybe that's our secret here maybe this bar was a bad idea and i can easily fix this i can easily get us out of this if it wasn't for this bar and if that's the case then i will take the sacrifice i'll take the l on the bar the bar will go by i can get out of here and we can finish off this uh, hard difficulty scenario here I don't know. We're still making a lot of money, though. Now we're in the middle of March. This is, this is actually looking pretty good. What is our ingredient shortage? Oh, my God. We're out of chicken. Man, the, the, the hard part of this game is, like, keeping up with the ingredients, for sure. And the demand. March 21st, with only $400 to go. We might do it. This might be it. Hey. Let's go. Let's go. I want to see it. March 25th. Oh, crap. 
Are we about to do it, or are we about to be the closest we've ever gotten to? 182. So far, the closest we've gotten to with three days left. 156. 140. 137. $96. $80. Damn it. <laughs> we were $80 away. Okay. All right. Um. <laughs> okay. This is what we do. Get rid of that. Wait till this man gets off the slot machine. This is what we're going to do. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, there's a big rat. Okay, get get him out of here. Even though I really love... I really, really do love the... Um, I really love the, the uh, slot machine. I got to get rid of it for now. I got to finish this up. Go here. And then we'll go here. Go. I should be able to sneak in like maybe one two and that should be good and let's go ahead and replace other chairs here that are not you know that are not just sitting around so that we can get the nicer chairs hell we could even put the fancier tables if we really wanted to as well maybe people would really appreciate that and they'll spend more money i don't know there we go can i actually replace the chairs if they're sitting in it oh they can't good we'll do that We'll give them the fanciest chairs, the fanciest tables. Make sure that they are all taken care of. There you go. 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 And there you go. And then fancy. Boom. Boom. And then finish this off here. Now, I don't know if the happiness because of how the decoration is will entice them to pay more. The menu variety is very good. The decor is, is still terrible. Let's see if we can do more to the decor here. Um, I mean, what else can I really do? <laughs> I guess I can add a painting. Add a painting of some sort. Oh, is it a random painting every time? Oh, it is. Got a painting there. Let's go upstairs. Put some paintings up here. Oh, nice. I like that. I have like a little menu here by the bar kind of right a candle i mean where the hell do you put a candle i guess on the table yeah put a candle on the table okay 90 bucks we went from like almost two three thousand dollars to ninety dollars how are we doing decor they hate it you guys are never satisfied oh they're happy now okay good they're happy with the decor are you guys willing to pay more <laughs> are you guys willing to pay more the price is kind of going up price is kind of going up okay so now we could technically house more more people in the restaurant and we'll see what happens here guests are stuck where right here oh no <sighs> Hmm. I really can't walk through there. This is what I do. I get rid of that, and then I move these people over. If I can. I wish I could move it. Uh, these people are stuck, so I'm going to move this over. Hopefully they don't get too upset here. Move this table over, and that will be that. And then this issue will be uh, resolved. Okay. Oh, oh God. Okay, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. Okay, here we go. We'll go here. Back this up a little bit. Item and use. Move that to there for now. There we go. Now they can leave. They can't get to that table. Which she slid in there just fine. But I don't think she can get out. That's the problem. Not enough stoves. Oh, she can get out. Oh, great. Oh, good. There we go. Awesome. All right. Great. Cool. Well, like I guess that issue's taken care of. How's it going on down here? <laughs> what are you guys doing down here? Not enough stoves. Um, well, I guess we can get rid of one of these deep fryers. And we can add another deep fryer. Or, sorry, a stove. 
How's our money going? Ooh. 958 already in May 9th? Hi. Oh, look at the people here. They're oh the decor. They love the decor, so they want to come here. And if they love the decor so much, maybe they're willing to pay more. Oh, baby. This is it. This is it. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, good. So the decor actually means a lot in this game. Is that what I'm starting to see now? Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. I think that's what I'm starting to see now. They will pay more the happier they are. Ah. Okay, good. So the bladder is good. Hygiene's good. Decor is good. Price, eh. But the menu variety, good. I mean, that's three happy faces. So look it. They're, they're willing to pay more because of the happiness that they have here. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. All right. We just up the prices. Let's see what happens. Probably going to need to get more ingredients here. Looks like steak is not selling as much as the uh, chicken is selling for. Let's increase our intake of chicken. Okay. All right. So I think this is, I think, I think we have it going on here. I think we just need to give it another month and I think we will be able to maybe another month or two and be able to nip this one in the butt. Oh, we, we do need more wine too. Gosh darn it. A little bit more wine intake. Like we could probably back down the meat a little bit, but last time I did that, then we ran out of shortage. Did I order another pad? You, Morgade, are literally the reason why I keep you around. Good shout. Very good shout. I did not order another one. Now we have. Good shout there. Excellent. Excellent. Good job. Thank you. Appreciate that. Appreciate that a lot. Okay. Now, let's go into the next day. We're going to give it another, or next month. Let's give it a full month without spending money, and we'll see where our profits reach now. I have good feeling. One thing that's a little bit of an issue is the chicken and the wine, and I think I should have more because I think the chicken and wine do go together, so I should probably start putting them at a, a little bit of a higher priority because they do mix together more, so that means they're going to sell more. So let's make sure that's a higher priority, maybe 12 of each in case people are are buying that chicken uh yeah that chicken um not enough fryers don't tell me that i don't want to hear it i don't want to hear not enough fryers now we might have too many dishwashers now we might have too many dishwashers for sure but i feel like this dishwasher and this dishwasher, they're doing like one every like two seconds or one every two minutes. Oh, wait, that has four now. Five. Okay. All right. Let's see where we stand here at the end of the month, though, of June. So chickens are full. Like we're full stocked on chicken. We're full stocked on potatoes. We're full stocked on steak. Full stock on wine. We should see no more issues when it comes to that. We now have an increased line queue here, which is good. Which that means I can, at the end of the month, I will increase the prices. So just wait till the month turns over here. And we'll start increasing the prices even more. Not enough fryers. Turn your cupboard on the end. I would. I would. But I'm not sure how that would affect my, uh, my plates. Because if I take away the cupboard, I lose seven plates. Maybe we're fine on plates. Maybe I could give that a tr shot. I could give it a shot and see if we have enough plates. Because right now we have 24 plates. Which actually, if we minus 7. Let's see here. Let's do the math here. Uh, we have 2, 5, 8, 10, 12, 15, uh, 18, 21, 23, 24, 25, 26. So technically, we need, if we have a full house, we need 26 plates. And we only have 24. So we still, we still don't, uh, we're not able to give them enough plates. But some people might order wine instead of ordering food. So yeah. If I do take, if I take away this, I lose seven plates, however. But. I could save, I might be able to lose 
five glasses. But I don't know if losing five glasses is worth it. Not sure yet. But I could take away a dishwasher. Because one of these seemed to be at full capacity at one time than, than another. Let's test it. Let's take away a dishwasher. And let's add a deep fryer back here. And we'll do that. And then we'll up the prices once this month does turn over. Which is about to turn over. Anytime. Wait. June has 31 days? When? June has 31 days? That's not right. June doesn't have 31 days, does it? I don't think it does. No, I don't think June has 31 days. Okay, so now that it's July, let's go ahead and increase our prices here. Increase the chicken. Increase the steak. Increase the nuggets. Increase the fries. Now, a lot of people are going to be probably very upset with this. But we're going to do it. Increase the wine. Okay, let's see. Will we be able to make that profit? Go. Now, there should be no queuing issues. Probably slow down in the traffic-wise as well. But we'll see. We'll see if we'll be able to make that profit back up now. <sighs> now, the sink issue could be something, right? 30 days has September, April, June, November. Why in the world did they put 31 days in this, in this game for June? <laughs> Hello, Rose. How are you doing? Oh, look at this. Now we're becoming a little bit of issue right here. How are you doing? Hope all is well on your Saturday. Check this out, though. Almost halfway through. We're just about to hit the 800 mark. That's good. That's very healthy for us. And this has 31 days in it, so I think this might be it. This... Oh, my God. This might be it. I know I've said that enough already, but I don't know. I think... I don't know. Storage racks are full. F. Not enough people... Nope, this is not it. We only have eight people in. And that has to do with the, the price gouge. It makes sense. It's fair. It's fair. The prices did go up really drastic. I'll leave that on 30. Bring that down. Maybe bring this down too. The price were pretty heavy. Hello, Rich. How are you? Rich, I am. Or Rich Lamb, one of the two. How are you doing? Hope all is well in your day today. I don't know. Maybe we might be able to pull this one out. 440 with six days left. Maybe. Now 19 patrons are in. Storage racks are full. Don't worry about that. I don't, I'm not. You think I'm worried about a rat? I'm not worried about a rat. Okay, we're about to turn over on the month. Okay, August. 31 days. Send it. This is it. This is where we this is where we get it. Sit at like maybe an average of 20 customers. Clean plate shortage. Now it's a dishwasher issue. Ay ay ay. Long queue forming. Okay. I think we're good now. Yeah, I think this is it. We could put a dishwasher outside in the dining room. F it. <laughs> Why not? They can wash their dishes get clean. They'll know for sure that their dishes are clean. All right. Um, yeah. I think this, is, this might be it here. I think we might finish it right here. Hard difficulty. Scenario 2. Route 66. It's looking very good. Looking very good for us. Yep, I think this is it. Please, God. <laughs> oh, my God. So close. It's not going to be it. Damn it. Okay, that's all right. <sighs> I think that had to do with a little bit of clean shortage, too. Clean dishwasher shortage. It's just the layout, dude. The layout here is just is just terrible, and it, it could be more uh, minimized in a, in a better way. But I think I just screwed the pooch here. What really we could do is get rid of this. This this is this is pointless now. Um, you can see it for yourself. It takes up too much room, right? It takes up way too much room. Uh, more customers can come in, right? More customers can come in on tables. So this is what we can do. 
We're going to get, yeah, we're going to get rid of the bar. Exactly right. We're going to get rid of the bar here. And uh, we're going to go forward with that. Uh, we can probably get rid of that, too. We're going to get rid of the bar once this gentleman leaves. There's the rat. Get out of here, sir. I'm trying to do a restaurant here. There we go. Oh, my God. Get rid of that. Okay, get, someone get rid of the plate, please. Thank you. Okay, I think this right here is the ticket to ticket to success, though. Um, I'm going to keep this stuff up here. I know it is a little strange for maybe the customers, but I, I got to keep it up there. I have no choice. Maybe. Starting to see, like, now was it that big of a difference? Because <laughs> before we could use four people on the bar. Um, we need this stuff. We do need this stuff. Hmm. put that there for now. I don't want to trap anybody. I would put that there. There. Does that trap anybody? Or is everybody fine? I think everybody's good. I think that's still good. So that's five people. So that's one additional person. I think that... Yo, the rat is taking the bottle of wine. How funny. Um, this, let's get rid of and replace it with an actual vacuum now. Let's put the vacuum maybe like, I guess right here. Um, we put it right here. Yeah, okay. Okay, guests are stuck. Okay, so yeah, this does make them stuck. Because right here, they can't get out here. Okay. Move it to here. How's that? Clean plate shortage keeps coming up. Another dishwasher. Right now, another dishwasher. All right, so I think this is good. I think we fixed the problem up here. I think this is technically functional. So that's five people instead of four people now with the bar out. So that's an extra person and an extra few people uh, a day. Okay, long, long queue is forming. Let's see here. Let's go downstairs. Let's make sure that we have enough dishwashers. And where to put the dishwasher? I have no idea. Like, if I put this here, will they be able to squeeze through there? I don't think so. Now, what I can do... Nope, I can't do that. Um, like, this is an issue. This is too much. Too much. Too much! We're bringing in too much chicken and too much wine. Back it down a little bit. That's wasteful. The dishwasher I would like to get in, but... Maybe not. Okay, so very, very weird. Oh, they can. Oh, they can. So if I put that there, they can still technically go over there? <gasps> oh, all right. There we go. Cool. Okay. That doesn't make sense very well. I guess it might. I don't know. Unless they got a small ass. But we'll we'll be able to do it now. The last cupboard I do need to have. Because the cupboards... So the cabinets, they're not just made for uh, food. For cutting food. They're also made for... Um, Holding our silverware. So we do need them for the tableware and dishes and things like that. Which we're already right now having a little bit of a shortage on, on silverware. I should put an extra one here. Okay. So long queue. Very good though. We can at least maybe do this. One. I'll go one tick up. That's it. One tick up. Except for the chicken. I'll leave the chicken how it is. Oh, you meant in the front? The cabinet in the front? cabinet in the front what do you mean by the cabinet in the front oh you mean like you mean like um like if i move that to here right if you meant like that i guess yeah you, you, that could work too 
Okay, let's see here. We're gonna go into October. No. Yeah, we're gonna go into October, and this might be it. We might be able to pull it off here now. So we have technically, uh, stoves can't keep up with the band. Are you kidding me? Uh, we have technically a lot of people. And then, um, a lot of people can come in. We have enough plates to get cleaned, right? With a lot of dishwashers. Clean plate, sh I mean, it still shows that it's a shortage, but you know, what, what can we really do? We're jam-packing this. We're jam-packing this as much as we can. I guess we can add another stove. Like if we put the dishwasher over there in front of the cupboard and then add another stove, we can do it that way. Like that. And then stove. That should work, yeah. Okay, good. And then let's go ahead and add another pan. There we go. Let's see how that goes. Hey, you can get really claustrophobic in here, can't you? Like, this is kind of insane. Like, this little chopping board now is kind of pointless, but... Two guys deliver now? <laughs> so maybe this will, this will keep up with the demand. I don't know. Maybe hiring another employee as well. Serving people. Cutting board not reachable. Look, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not worried about that cutting board, my man. Oh, they need the cutting board to cut steak too. Interesting. Richard is complaining about the high workload. Okay, so who is Richard and what does he do? Is he a cook? Dishwashing and cleaning. Okay, no, he's not. We need more clean plates now. John is complaining about the high workload. Who's John? Cook. Okay, he's a cook. That makes sense. I don't know if I if I should hire somebody or not. I really want to beat this. I really, really do. The clean plate shortage might be an issue. And that makes sense with helping out with Richard. Like, I know, like, our food is, like, out of control, too. But I feel like every time I tinker with this, it then, like, falls apart on me. So we'll just back this down, I guess, a little bit now. How's our food overall? Yeah, we have so much food. You know what we'll do is we'll put this on non-repeat right now. And that will be that. And that will probably save us some money, and we will be able to make the 800 coin profit in a month. Possibly. And that will be that. Hopefully. Richard, 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 is he the... No, he's the dishwasher. It might, that's probably why, like, clean plate shortage? Well, we just probably don't have enough dishwashing people, right? Maybe we need another busboy. Maybe that will get the plates out faster. That's a good reason. And I have another cook. It's just a lot of food just sitting here on the stove, and I think it's because they're just waiting on clean plates. So yeah, that might be where we head next. Now, I'll wait till the end of the month. I doubt we're going to meet our quota. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hire another busboy and get that clean uh, clean plate issue out of the way. Yeah, okay. So let's see here. Okay, who is this? Daniel. Daniel, all I want you to do, Daniel, is just be a busboy. That's it. And that should fix our... Well, should. Fix our, our clean plate issues. And then it should make these foods not sit on the stove so long, and they should be able to go out faster. So let's see here. Now, it could be like a dishwasher issue, too. Like, you know, hey, the dishwasher's not... You know, we don't have enough dishwashers, but let's be fair. Like, I wish the dishwashers held just a little bit more than five. <laughs> now, we could have a second dishwasher up here. That might help. Oh, I, I have an idea. Okay, what if we do this? Oh, wait, the vacuum goes there. I was going to say put the dishwasher right here. But the vacuum goes there. I wonder if we could place, place it right here. Will that work? Will they still be able to use this? 
I don't think they will. Oh, they still can! Oh, great. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, I think we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna do it, folks. I think we're gonna do it. December 23rd? December 24th? December 25th? Merry Christmas, ladies and gentlemen. We have now finally completed hard. That is scenario two, achievement unlocked. Finished, done, capiche. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Thank you. We did it, we completed it. It was a little funky, it was a little weird, but we did it. Um, <laughs> wish there was just a little bit more room to work with, but we did it. We actually did it. We did it. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's go ahead and save this. This will be um, route 66, hard complete, I guess. Complete. Awesome, great. I'm happy. So what would be the next, I'm, I'm just curious to see what the next scenario is. Next scenario would be farm. Sell your cows. What the hell are you talking about? But that's going to do it in today's uh, stream. I hope you guys enjoyed this stream. We went for about four hours. Very good stream, right? Um, the next stream could be something, could be Tastemaker again, or maybe not. Maybe the next stream we will be doing the birthday stream. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do a stream between now and my birthday. I might not. I might so. I have no idea. But um, if not, then the next stream will be the birthday stream, and we are going to be playing Jackbox Party. You do not have to own the game to play with me. Everybody and anyone can play, and anybody, and if you might think, oh, there's not enough places, but believe me, there'll be enough places. You can be part of the audience, and the audience can interact and change the way the game is played as well. So that's what we're going to do. All you need is a mobile phone, a tablet, a PC, Anything, really. And you can play along with this on my birthday. We can have a lot of fun together. Um, it should be a little bit crazy. And if you don't know a Jackbox party, it could be like a little bit of Cards Against Humanities. It could get very nasty and naughty. Just forewarning. It could get a little dirty. But, I mean, I don't do that often. And it should be a lot of fun with all you guys. So thank you guys so much for sticking around, hanging around with me as Tastemaker and completing the Tastemaker on the level 2 scenario hard mode it's been a pleasure and honor being with you today thank you morgan thank you intentionally blank thank you rich i am thank you rose thank you mookie thank you kazify barry barry where were you all day what what barry how you doing how, how you doing good to see you thank you barry thank you morgan there are now there are two rats now stealing oh <laughs> yes yeah, so thank you guys so much um, and thank you for the subscriptions today. Imgons, Mookie, like I said, thank you for the subs subscription. X Blitz Gaming, thank you for the super chat. Ian and Emma, thank you for the super chat. Jeffrey Nichols, thank you for the super chat. X Blitz, thank you again for another super chat. Danielle, thank you for the super chat. Um, Pug, thank you for the super chat. Really do appreciate that. I am opening up a gift, a birthday gift on stream on Wednesday. So we're going to be doing that as well. I'm going to open up a birthday gift by one of you viewers. So it's going to be fun. And uh, I can't wait to see you guys then. 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Same time as always when I stream. So I will see you guys very soon. And uh, do as always. Take care.